goodness. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to, I guess, the last normal stream of the year. That's weird. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We have a lot of building to finish today. Otherwise, I've, if we don't do this today, we're not going to finish the build by the end of the year, and that's just bad. We have to be done. <laughs> we, we cannot leave this <laughs> until next year. So we're going to work on the townhouses again and see if we can get them finished furnishing. I hope you had a good Saturday so far today. Um, I went to the farmer's market this morning, so that was nice. It was a good, it was a good time. It was nice outside today. So actually it was kind of cold. I've been struggling the past few days. I, it's not even been cold outside, but I have felt extremely cold. Like in the house, I'm like, wow, I'm freezing. And it's not even cold in the house or cold outside. I just feel like maybe I'm sick. I don't know. <laughs> I just feel cold. Anyway, hi everybody. Um, Welcome back. Let me get the game pulled up. So you, oh, hold on. No, game capture. There we go. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Got it. Finally. <laughs> Time to raid dance tea stash. I don't know. I'm not a tea person. He can keep it. <laughs> he can keep it. <laughs> Maybe there's a ghost. Oh, that's more fun. I like it. Have any New Year's plans? Oh, yes, streaming. <laughs> My New Year's Eve plans are, are, um, this. <laughs> we'll be here. So I'm going to sit right here in this chair. I'm going to play this game and we're going to be live. So, um, that is, that is my New Year's Eve plan. So we'll be here tomorrow night until midnight my time. I've streamed the past few years on New Year's Eve. It's kind of fun, I think. So that's what we'll be up to. Um, no, they're not the Nightmare Legacy townhouses. Thank God, Harriet. <laughs> they're different townhouses. Uh, I finished those a couple weeks ago. So these are different townhouses. There's also townhouses, but they're different ones. Um, and that's a rocket ship. So that's not what I want. <laughs> these are those like New York brownstone ones that we've been working on the past couple of days. I worked on it yesterday. So, um, Kath with the 42 months. Oh my goodness. It's <laughs> a scary long time. Uh, also nerdy and red sea lion and Dana and Marion and Louisa and T Wright and Therese and captain and Valencia and Annabelle and Sarah. Uh, we got Catherine and Super Sailor and Naive and Denise. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, okay. Um, where am I going? Say my shoe now. Got it. <laughs> got it. Got it. Okay. And then we'll come over here. Wow, I'm lost. All right. Am I going to do another baking stream soon? Um, probably. I like to do a baking stream sort of around Valentine's Day, usually. Um, and I also like to do a baking stream for Rick Astley's birthday, which is in the beginning of February. So probably on February 6th, I will do a baking stream. Um, let me just check and see what day. That's Rick Astley's birthday, by the way. It's February 6th. Um, that day is a Tuesday. So let's assume that we'll do a baking stream that day, probably. Because <laughs> that's what I normally do. So, <laughs> I am not kidding. <laughs> anyway, Rika and Maza and Ryan and Ghost and Get Live uh, and Veggie and Lulz and, and, and Wonk and Cats and Marianne, thank you for the subs, everybody. Your birthday is also February 6th. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry for, for you and, and for you being overshadowed by uh, the greatest celebrity of our time. It must be hard to share a birthday with a mega star <laughs> like Rick Astley. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> McCain, thank you for the sub, by the way. And Frenna and Ailey and Rika, thank you for the subs too. Oh my. Um, when I go live tomorrow, it's going to be 2 a.m. for you. Yeah, so I was planning on going live at 8 o'clock in the evening, my time tomorrow, um, which, yeah, would be kind of late for a lot of people. <laughs> um, but I can't stream all day. I'm not cut out for that. Being live from like 4 p.m. until midnight, it's too much for me. I'm a weak person. So I don't think I can manage. Um, <laughs> anyway, we'll see. But I don't think I'll be live any sooner than 8 my time. Libby and Luca and Brenna, thank you for the subs too. All right, well, we have to get a move on. I just pressed 
manage worlds. What was I doing? It's like I thought I was going to press go into build mode and I press go to manage worlds. Oh my. Um, what are the townhouses for? Oh, they're not for anything. They're mostly just for fun. We just kind of wanted to build, so we are building. Um, we're, so we don't have any like sims in mind. I'm just building to build right now, kind of. Um, what's my time right now? Like, what time is it here? It's currently four in the afternoon where I am right now. I'm in Eastern time, so that's where I'm at. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I want to try and get some more blue stuff on these walls and just in general decorate this place a little bit more. Um, okay. Anyway, hope you had a good day so far, chat. Welcome in. I'm just gonna get started because I'm kind of in a rush. <laughs> I'm nervous that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna finish it in a reasonable amount of time. <laughs> we have to finish it by the end of today. <laughs> we cannot leave this until until next year. I keep saying that, but like <laughs> that's pitiful if we do that. So um does anyone else play the same as well she plays? Cookies, actually, I would say a lot of people. I don't know about most. Maybe most? Can we do a poll? How many people are playing at least a game? Are any of you playing a game right now? I feel like especially on the weekends, we're probably even more likely to come across stuff like that. Um, maybe not so much during the week, but definitely on the weekends, probably a lot of gamers in the chat, right? <laughs> um, are they making for the fits? And speak now, Swifty and Hannah and Fanta. Thank you for the subs. Um, did the kitties have a good first Christmas? They did, I think they liked it. Um, specifically because there was a Christmas tree involved, and they, let me tell you, <laughs> the kittens liked that Christmas tree. <laughs> ah, 60% of the chat is playing a game right now. That's a lot. I, I do that, though. Like, I usually, if I'm gonna watch a Twitch stream, it's, uh, pretty likely that I'll, I'll be watching it while I'm playing something, so. Um... Christmas tree wrapping paper boxes, right? It's like a dream for a kitten, truly. They were thriving with the holiday. <laughs> oh, they liked it, I think. I'm glad, I'm glad. They, oh, that's maybe too much. The kittens deserve to have a nice holiday. Okay, maybe. I was just about to get the little set of keys and then I've lost it. Usually you're cooking dinner and watching my streams. That makes sense. I know a lot of people watch my streams while they're at work, too. Um, which also makes sense to me. <laughs> uh, back when I was in school and college, I used to watch people's streams while I, like, worked on, like, you know, less uh, attention-grabbing tasks. <laughs> you know, like, the kind of stuff that I like, just have something on in the background. Um, especially because I lived alone, so it was nice to have, like, noise. Um, I was lonely, so it was nice to have other people's streams on. 40-minute woohoo video was top tier. You know, my parents told me that they loved that video. My mom, she usually watches my videos when she's just, like, working on something or, like, you know, doing laundry or just, like, has it up, you know, kind of in the background. My mom told me that she watched the entire video yesterday because she was, like, so intrigued by it, <laughs> which I think is really funny. 40 minutes of that. <laughs> PG, it's Tardew with Ria, thank you for the subs. I gotta be honest, when I sat down to record that video, I didn't anticipate that it would be so long, which I guess was maybe a little bit foolish of me because there's like 27 woohoo spots that I showed off. So like, I guess it makes sense, you know, that it was gonna be maybe around 30 minutes long, but 42 when, um, it was edited down. I was like, oh, <laughs> yikes. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That's a bit more than I realized. <laughs> it's okay. It was worth it. It was, it was, uh, for science, you know? <laughs> Same length as the TV episode. <laughs> oh, God. That's horrible. <laughs> hey, Onika, thank you for the gifted subs. And Fukish and Kylie and Maddie, thank you for the subs too. Mins as well. All right. Um,. Let me also get my second OBS open so I can record this too. Yeah, I wish the shower woohoo was base game too. I think it's kind of weird that the shower woohoo isn't base game. Um, especially because like, I, I guess university maybe makes a little bit of sense for it to come with, but 
It is kind of weird that it's not, um, it's not base game. Is this going on the gallery? Yeah, and I actually put an unfurnished version on the gallery already. I always put my builds in the gallery. I don't normally post an unfurnished and a furnished one, but I, I did post an unfurnished one of this one too. Was that 234,000 unfurnished? <laughs> I guess it has the bathrooms and the kitchens. Yikes. <laughs> that That is excessive. That is excessive and unnecessary. <laughs> I am kind of horrified by that. <laughs> oh no. Blue suburban neighborhood next. That I really want to do. We've been talking about that. Um, that is gonna be uh quite the task, but we've been joking about doing that, like making an entire neighborhood of all blue suburbans. Um and I'm not opposed to it. Cause we after we built the um we built the like horse ranch neighborhood. Uh, and we were joking about doing something more, you know, I guess more suburban as opposed to like farmy. Um, and we were joking about making a blue suburban neighborhood. <laughs> but we would do it, we would have like it be on a street and, and we would like really go all out with um, all of that stuff, like make a proper street on like maybe the 50 by 50 lot in Willow Creek or something. Um, I like the idea of that. So, <laughs> but instead of it being as like organic dirt road, like it would be like a proper street with like street parking and, you know, sidewalks and stuff like that. <laughs> um, yeah, Lemon, I think we will leave one of the townhouses unfurnished. People, um, people seemed like pretty intrigued by, by that idea and like, like they wanted one of them to be unfurnished. So I, I can leave one of the townhouses unfurnished. Um, so we, we can definitely do that if people want it to be. I don't know which one it will be, but we can leave one of them unfurnished. Maybe like this one or something. Um, so that way it's move in ready for people. <laughs> yeah, the door still functions with the robe on it. Your sims are a little bit smarter than you might think. They'll just walk right through it. Um, I, I know because I do it all the time now. <laughs> Uh, but they'll they'll just walk right through that robe, so you don't need to worry about it being there really. Um, so I'm very thanks for the 22 months, by the way. Um, okay, yeah, leaving it unfurnished will also help this not take as long. So I guess that's a benefit too. <laughs> that is also a win. Maybe I'll make these a light blue color. Okay, you just heard coughing and thought it was me, and it was some weird ad. Oh. That is really weird. Well, I wasn't coughing. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, I would never cough in your ears like that. <laughs> That's really strange though. I don't like that at all. Um, should we get a little, oh, I don't know if I like that actually. Everything is very like dusty pink and not so much blue and yellow in all these other places. Should I do like this color instead? Cause we went so dusty with all the other colors. Maybe that's better. I don't know. Uh, Sims will walk through not all debug items, but a lot of debug items. Um, basically not all of the debug items in the game have like a footprint, so the Sims don't see it as being an item, so uh, a lot of the debug ones they can just walk right through. Again, not all of them, but, but you know, a decent-ish chunk of them they can just walk straight through. Um, you liked the blue floor? Yeah, I did too, but it didn't really match that stuff. I mean, we could use the blue floor still with this wall. I think it's a little ugly. But maybe it's ugly in like a fun way. Cause sometimes it's nice to try to find an excuse to use stuff that you would not normally pair together. And I would not normally pair this stuff together. <laughs> so maybe it's, maybe it's a nice chance to use something like that, you know? Like maybe it's for the best that we try and put it together. Gina and H Pro and Emma and Craig and Rue and Songbear, thanks for the subs. Um, gives old apartment. Yeah, that's true. Ugly is authentic. <laughs> Ugly is authentic, says chat. And they're so right about that. Okay. 
That's nice. Um, kitten update? Oh, let me think. What can I update you on that's new? I guess this isn't really a new, new thing, but um, both the kittens slept in my bed all night last night, <laughs> which makes me really happy. <laughs> I was very excited about it. <laughs> Um, so that was kind of fun. Snap isn't usually one to sleep in the bed all night. Like, uh, as of recently, um, Snap always likes to, like, I describe it as Snap putting me to bed. Snap always, like, puts me to bed and then leaves. Um, and, and, like, I don't know, does her own thing at nighttime, I guess. Um, and then comes back in the morning. And recently, it's been, like, all of the cats in the bed at night. And a couple nights, they've stayed pretty much the whole night. So I wake up in the night and they're still there. Today, both Sunny and Shrimp were still there this morning and I was really happy about it. <laughs> so <laughs> that was kind of fun. But usually Snap will like, she literally, when I say puts me to bed, she like decides that it's bedtime and tries to get me to follow her to bed. And she'll sit on the edge of the bed screaming until I get in the bed. And then she'll like cuddle with me for a while. And then she leaves. <laughs> so... When I say Snap puts me to bed, she, like, really does put me to bed. Uh, but she'll leave, and the babies didn't last night, so I was excited. She said, my job here is done. I've put you to sleep. Now I'm gonna go mind my business. Okay. You're scared when your cat sleeps with you because you move too much? Yeah, so, so I think that about Sunny. Um, the little tiny baby kitten. I, I worry about that with her a little bit because she is so small. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a little bit worried now that she's been in the bed that I'm gonna like, I don't know, roll over on top of her or something. <laughs> Cause she also doesn't, I, I haven't, and I don't think I actually will. It's just a fear in the back of my mind. But she also doesn't really move, like snap. If I try to adjust, like if she's like laying on me in a weird way and I try to adjust to, to like move, you know, so that I can be more comfortable. Snap will, like, almost always leave. If you adjust, she's like, mm, mm no, I was comfortable and you ruined it. And then she'll leave. But, but Sunny, the little tiny kitten, she does not leave if you adjust. Like, she'll just adjust with you and curl back up. And so, I, like, sometimes I, A, don't know that she's there because she's so small. And B, like, I'm worried that I'm going to move on top of her by accident. But anyway, it hasn't happened yet. So <laughs> I don't think it actually will. It's just a fear in my heart about it. <laughs> Your husky does what Snap does? Yeah, I mean, I get it. If I were Snap, I, I think I would relate. Like, if I was comfortable and then you moved, I would be mad too. But the problem for me is that Snap often lays in ways that are weird and I am not comfortable. <laughs> okay. So, we have to furnish these two kids' rooms. This is gonna be the primary bedroom. This is gonna be... I was thinking maybe, like, an art studio? up here in this hallway on this unit. So I'll probably do that. Um, and then, I don't know, we'll see how the kids' rooms turn out. One of the other ones, I think this one is gonna be like a, a real family-inspired house. We're gonna have like two kids in both bedrooms and stuff and have a playroom upstairs is the next plan. Um, so that'll be kind of fun. Uh, Ducky, growing up, my my parents have dogs and cats, so my whole life we had dogs also. Um, so I've had I've had both cats and dogs in my life. Uh, I only have cats right now. My parents have three dogs that I lived with for many years, so I still consider those dogs to be my dogs. Um, okay, maybe these could be blue curtains. Oh, that's a fun color scheme. You want to try that? Let's try that. What if I put these wallpapers together? I've not really tried this yet. With those curtains. Does that look weird? I don't, maybe it looks weird. I don't know. Oh, maybe the little penguin one is better. I use the polka dot one a lot. I don't use the penguin one very often. I don't know. I like the curtains. I'm not really feeling this wallpaper, but we'll, we can see how it goes once we put something with it. Does this come in purple by any chance? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, new idea. What if we get like a darker blue wallpaper 
with those curtains. We could paint the brick wall. I don't really, I'm not really sure. I kind of like the exposed brick being quite dramatic, but we could also paint the brick wall if you really want to. Um, I actually like how that looks together. I don't know, do you like the brick still? Everything else has brick paired with it still, so. I'm not sure. Love the brick, no painting it. Okay. <laughs> In real life, painting brick is a very controversial activity, so. <laughs> Sazzle, Lucky, and Sarah, and Wickham, and Lacey, and Elba, thank you for the subs. If people did that in real life in this beautiful house with this beautiful old brick, if someone painted it, they would be furious. <laughs> people hate that. Uh, generally, most people are really opposed to brick painting. Um, okay, let's see. They're also really opposed to painting cabinets, which I feel less strongly about. But I don't know. Um, that's not really the light. I want like a light purple to match the thingy. These curtains are from high school years, right? Maybe that could work. You would paint your cabinets. Yeah, well, I see all these people posting pictures online and like asking for advice on what to do to like update their kitchen. And they have like old wood cabinets that are like, they're not like, it's not like a nice wood. It's like old and they're kind of chipped a little and like scratched up. And, and they're like, I want to paint them. And all the comments are like, no, <laughs> don't do that. And I just don't understand like, I get it if it's like a really nice, like fancy wood or whatever, but these aren't, these aren't that. And like, it's so expensive and difficult to like properly refinish wood cabinets yourself. Whereas people can paint them by themselves a little bit more easily. So I just don't understand the, the fury about painting the cabinets. Um, but whatever. <laughs> Yeah, painting brick, I, I've heard that painting brick is, is like not so good for the brick because it, it, doesn't it have to do with them like being porous so it like can, I don't know, it doesn't like, tra it like traps moisture or something weird, like something bad happens or can happen when you paint brick, especially outside brick. But I don't know anything about that really, I'm just a simmer, so. <laughs> they need to breathe, the bricks need to breathe, that's the word. So it's not good for them to be painted, technically. But... Lime wash is better for brick breathing. <laughs> there you go. Um, okay, I don't know what to use on this wall. All of it looks bad. Uh-oh. Maybe I could do, cause I was looking at that stuff from the paranormal pack a second ago. Maybe I could use this and make a little gallery wall above the bed. It's not as like fun and purple though. Moon phases maybe. Oh, 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 wait, maybe. Let's look at the realm of magic stuff. Realm of magic. Oh, I don't know if this is gonna be good or not. That's not terrible. I do think that these lamps don't work anymore if we do that. String lights, oh, you know what we could do? I think I should use these string lights again. Oh, that's not visible through the painting, so we could use that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Kay and Aloha and Boba and Korean, thank you for the subs. Um, I guess maybe I could use that lamp on one of them and then put something else on this. That painting is bad. Oh, I liked it. You don't like it? Sometimes, I said this earlier, but sometimes it's kind of fun, I think, to do stuff that's like maybe a little bit ugly. I think that sometimes a little bit ugly is a good thing. <laughs> it's okay to try and branch out and, and furnish with stuff that you never use and try and pick some wacky stuff at times. 
Um, no, the bed's not base game. The bed is from high school years. I wish that that was base game. <laughs> it is unfortunately not. Uh, maybe they can have a little bit of artsy stuff in here too. Which one of these matches? So this has like kind of a, is that the color that matches this? No, that is, okay. I don't really know if I like that or not, but we'll see. We shall see. I may also try and get a desk. It comes in like a matchy, sort of color, I don't know. Do we have a storyline for each house yet? No, not really. It's um, it's sort of like, uh, I, I guess we're more pick basing off of color scheme. The only storyline is that we have an apartment in the basement that maybe a vampire lives in. So. Okay. Um. Let's see, maybe we could try a fuzzy rug. Fuzzy rug that takes up like a lot of the room, perhaps? I don't know. What do you think about that? Is that bad? I wish that I had it in like a, a light color. Maybe the high school years one might be better. The high school years one might come in a color that matches a bit more. Like that one could bring in some more of the colors, but also could be not so good, I don't know. Snowy Escape we used in the other house already, so I'm not trying to use the same thing over and over again, but this one also has a light purple, and the Snowy Escape one is probably, arguably better. I just feel like I always use this one for this purpose. Like, I literally look <laughs> in the same color. <laughs> in the exact same color as well. <laughs> so... <laughs> I don't really want to do the same thing over and over again. Um, but we can try it anyway, because I do think it looks nice. It looks better, at least. What pack would you recommend for people who enjoy building more than gameplay? Ooh, that's a good question. The thing is, it really depends, like, what sort of stuff you like to build, right? Because there isn't necessarily, like, a a clear cut answer to that without knowing what your preferences are, because what I like to build might be different from what you like to build. Um, but I don't know, like to give an example, things like the new rent pack, I really like this new rent pack. The new rent pack to me is like top tier building pack, but that's more for like build tools, whereas like another pack might have more windows that you might prefer, another pack might have more kitchen stuff than you might prefer, so it really just depends what you're looking for. Um, I think that Eco Lifestyle has a lot of really nice sort of neutral furniture and debug that works pretty well. Um, I think that Dream Home Decorator is basically just a furniture pack, so Dream Home Decorator has a lot of good things. If you like to decorate like bedrooms, high school years has a lot of good bedroom furniture. Um, so it, it really just kind of depends what you're looking for. I use the Seasons windows all the time. Um, they're like probably my most used windows. So anyway, that's not really helpful probably, but <laughs> if, if it depends what you need the most, I guess. <laughs> I brought the lamp back. Tiny Living I also use all the time um, for stuff like that, sort of. Um, okay, uh, I'm looking for high school years again. What are my plans for the New Year celebration? Um, mostly just playing Sims. I was thinking about doing some fun little uh, challenges in The Sims tomorrow. It's kind of my idea. Um, we'll see exactly what we end up doing later on. Oh, wait. That looks cool. That kind of changes the witchy vibes, though. Just a little bit. Maybe we could have this one. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Any city skylines? I don't think I'm gonna play city skylines tomorrow. Um, it's a little slow paced. I don't mean that in a bad way, but city skylines is a little bit slow paced. And if I'm gonna try and stay up until midnight, which is, I'm not good at that. 
I need to have fast pace. <laughs> so I think we need to play um, something that uh, requires maybe a little bit less brain power from me <laughs> and is also a little bit faster paced. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, we played Unpacking on stream, Lemon. I, I, that's one of my favorite games that I've ever played on stream. Unrelated to, like, The Sims, obviously, you know, like, I mean, like, other games. Um, I really liked Unpacking. It was one of my favorites. Um. Okay. Should I try that with the light purple again? I just like it. I think that's really cute. I'm gonna need to get a hamper too. I don't know. That one I think looks kind of icky, but it is what it is. We need to have one somewhere. Standing mirror. Yeah, let's do a standing mirror in this corner, maybe. Sort of like a nice accent mirror over there or something. I don't know. When will you play Overcooked with Shella? We we will play it. We have to find a time that works and is um, not in the middle of the holidays. We've both been really busy, so we haven't found a time yet. And then it all of a sudden was November and December and it was like, oh wait, shoot. <laughs> now we're extra busy, so. Soon, just not now. <laughs> Too much going on. Shella's not even around, I don't think, right now, so. Um, but I promise I would play it, so I still will. Don't worry. There's a couple things we have to do with charity incentives still. I have them on my list. Um, it's hard to, like, organize time to do collab streams, though. People just have so much going on individually, you know? Sometimes it takes longer than doing something on your own. Um, okay. Shella is streaming tonight for the first time all week. See, that's exciting. Um... Okay. Um, I think, one sec. Um, oh, hold on. And then, I don't know, this room might be okay. Let's just call it. Let's work on the kids' room instead. Oh, the moon mirror. Oh, wait. No, that's a good idea. Sorry, I got distracted, but this is a good idea. Werewolves pack. Oh, we should have found a place to use that. Um, do you think putting it over here is, like, too much? <laughs> How much mirror is too much? I don't know. I like it. I think it looks cool there. It also matches quite well, so. Okay. It's perfect, okay, good. <laughs> I'm never sure if having like two mirrors on the same wall is a lot in like a bad way, but sounds like we like it, so. You think the hamper is low key too much? What, the color of it? We need to have a hamper. Um, I could make it just gray, but I'm kind of trying to bring it, you see this color? I'm trying to bring in that color. I'm okay with it being kind of a vibrant color a little bit. I think I like it. <laughs> um, let me just get this. Maybe it could be pink. Oh, I think this room is really cute. Put a bookshelf instead of the mirror. I guess that's true. We could do a bookshelf instead. Then there won't be two mirrors in a row. Hmm. Ooh. What about the like locker bookshelf? Which pack is that from? It's high school years, right? I've probably scrolled past it twice. No, it's university. Different school pack. Um, that does match the bed, <laughs> so. <laughs> I guess that could that could work. <laughs> Tiff, thanks for the 10 month resub. Um, also, happy birthday to your sister. That's so exciting. Um, okay, there we go. We'll call that room done. Should this one be a kid's room then? Maybe. The moon mirror is from the werewolf pack. 
Uh, which, when you think about it, makes sense. <laughs> uh, but it's a nice mirror and it's from werewolves. Toddler? Oh, I guess it could be a toddler. Well, no, you know what? I want to do twin kids and twin toddlers next door in this one. So maybe, oh, this is clipping. So maybe over here we should do like one kid. I don't know. Is there one toddler just like roommates? There's a basement apartment for roommates. This is for roommates. This is for a vampire and their baby. Um, this one I kind of wanted to still be like a more family house, so. Um, granny's room? I guess it could be like Granny's room. That might be okay. I don't know. As a twin, that sounds like a nightmare. Well, yeah, having all those kids sharing rooms is never pleasant for anybody, but <laughs> I want to, basically I want to build one that's like good for a really big family. Um, maybe I can make this work. I don't know. What headphones do I use? These are the Logitech Aurora ones. They're from the Logitech Aurora collection. We can try and make it Granny's room. I'm okay with that. I think that could be fun. Let me get any sort of rug. Um opposite teens would be so cute. Yeah, like two teenager bedrooms might be kind of fun too. That's also always an idea. Um, well, I don't think this bed necessarily screams Granny Christine. Um, I like this bed a lot too. I would buy this in real life. <laughs> I would buy this, this bed spread in real life, so nothing Granny about it. Um, okay. Um, Granny's room and art office. If you mean like to put art in here, we have a stair landing that I'm gonna try and make into an art studio. So we probably won't put art stuff in here specifically because I kind of want to make sure that we leave something to put up in the art studio upstairs. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll we'll have trouble with the furnishing, probably. Um, why not, Grandpa? I don't know. I think you guys are thinking about this too much. <laughs> We're getting a lot of really very specific questions that I don't think matter. <laughs> I don't know why not, Grandpa. Doesn't matter. Anybody could live here. <laughs> Grandpa could live here. We're just inventing a pretend story, so... <laughs> it's really okay, it doesn't matter that much. <laughs> We're overthinking just a bit. Um, that doesn't really match the rest of the house. None of this does. Maybe it's two teens and the grandparents living here. See, that's like a, a different vibe. Like if the grandparents live up here and two teens live down here on this floor. I don't know. I'm okay with that too. I'm kind of curious to look at more of the high school year's beds. Um, like what about this one? Maybe. Oh, that maybe could fit with the color schemes we've been using throughout most of the house. Unless we wanted to do like, I don't know. Let me look at some more options quick. Definitely overthinking. Oh, I've never used this bed swatch. I used that purple one a bunch, but I've never used this one. We could also try and make it like very teenager who's into sports. Hmm. Maybe sports teen is better. Because I don't really normally do that. Maybe that's the way. Sports teen? Okay. Okay. Sports room. There's a lot of sports items in this game that we can use as well. So we'll, we'll make this work. Oh, the curtains don't fit nicely. 
it's very frustrating for me. <laughs> I find it very difficult every time. Um, yikes. Yikes. Maybe something like this. Just blinds. Isn't that bed for the chess club? Um. I never really thought about it that way. I just sort of thought about it as being like a mascot. And so the mascot would probably be the same across all of the school teams. Um, but I don't know. It's a llama, but it could pass as like a knight if you wanted to use it as like a chess club logo, you probably could. But I've kind of just always thought of it as being like generic school logo. So you could, you know, the chess club has the same school logo as the sports team would. My hair is really bugging me today. <sighs> Sorry, everybody. I cut my hair shorter in the front of my face like last week and I'm still not used to it. So <laughs> Sorry for making you deal with this. <laughs> also, I burnt my finger, so don't judge my band-aid. I've been going through a lot. <laughs> A lot's been happening for me. <laughs> um, oh, that's so cute. It doesn't match this, though. Like, really at all. How did I burn it? Oh, I uh, dropped molten hot sugar on it that I had melted to use to build a gingerbread house. Um, which is really stupid of me, because it's not even my first time doing a gingerbread house like that. And I was even being careful, but, you know, here we are. <laughs> So, uh, it's okay, it's okay, it happens, um, maybe I'll put this like here and then put some like seating in front of the window, I don't know, maybe this person can like gaming too, you're gonna need perhaps like a yellowish, oh my god, I am literally going to base, I, we have to make an entire house based off of this chair. I need to find somewhere I can use this chair. It doesn't match in here really. It could match, but it's not only what I was going for. It's such a cute swatch. Why don't we have more like that? I don't like that chair anymore. Um, who could have this chair? We could always put it up here in like the art studio and use it up there somehow. Except this house has a very strict purple and blue color scheme, so. I don't know. Um, what about you? This one has lights on it. Oh, that matches the bed like perfectly. Oh, okay. Well, that solves that problem. High school years, maybe we could get... Mm. I don't know about any of those. So dark. Not really what I want. The other ha chair had a swatch that matched the bed though. I didn't see it <laughs> and I like this one so I'm just gonna use this one, okay? Doesn't matter. Um, sports. All right, that's the vibes. I'm actually gonna give them the same fairy lights. I really like these. I think these look cool on this brick wall. There is a hotkey to move up and down floors. Yeah, the hotkey to move up and down is page up and page down. So you can do it like that. Um, if your, I guess if your keyboard has a page up and page down key on it, it might not, I suppose. Um, okay. Is there a hockey with Mac? Uh, other than page up and page down, I'm not really sure. I'm not super familiar with like the differences of the hotkeys on Mac versus on PC. So, um, I might not be the best person to ask that question. We'll see. Maybe the trophies. Oh yeah, the trophies from the kids room stuff pack would be good for this. That's a good idea. Are you under shelves or just decorations? Just decorations. I'll put them over their bed. Oh, 
That's fun. That is fun. Okay. This thing is so ridiculous. This item, like, I don't know why they make it so difficult to use. Should I get a cork board and put it over here? I like the idea of having a spot to put up some postcards. Testing cheats on BB dot show hidden objects. Okay. Debug. I would be scared of those trophies falling on you in the night. Okay, fair enough, but I think they'll be fine. I, I think I would worry about that a little bit too. So I get it. They're glued down. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> if it makes you feel better to think about it that way, then fine. They're glued down. Oh, I like this wall. I think that looks good. Oh, a beanbag chair. That's good too. Um... High school years, maybe? I like this one. Maybe in that like yellowish color. What was the other thing? I wanted to get the like sports on the floor stuff. <laughs> maybe I'll get the mess from high school years too. Hmm. Oh, they have actual trophies too, but I don't really know how many trophies is too many. Like, I don't know at what point we should stop trying to put trophies on the walls, you know? Like, how much is too much? Framed football shirt's a good idea too. What was I coming in here to get? Oh, the mess, that's right. Um, that could work. This kid is a high achiever. You know what, you're right. This person, they are a high achieving teen and they have a significant number of trophies. <laughs> I'll put the hamper next to this. We could also get like a soccer ball and stuff to put on the floor. I don't know. There you go. Um, some sort of... We want to have a rug, but I didn't like the rug options. Another trophy in the bookshelf. Oh yeah, we should put... If I just search trophy... I want to get one of the ones from high school years. We can get the football trophy. I think they play football. Is my final decision. They play both kinds of football. <laughs> How about that? There you go. <laughs> oh, we should use... No, hold on. I'm giving them a soccer lamp. Um, where do you put, should I just like put the balls kind of strewn about in the pile of mess? Um, small poster perhaps? I don't know. Maybe they, I don't know, they like football. Fell out of the bag onto the ground maybe? Oh, that's a nice way of looking at it. We'll pretend it fell out of the bag. <laughs> They've made a big mess. Just like stuff everywhere in this pile. Okay. Yeah, I wish we had some more sports type clutter too. That would be kind of cute. I like what we're working with though. I'm okay with this so far. I wanted to get from the kids room pack again. People were talking about the jersey. Is it underneath like wall decorations? There's jerseys from a couple different packs, but I think I might get, do you think if I search jersey, we'll find, isn't there one also from like city living? The clutter kit has a couple sports-like things, but not really what I'm thinking of in this case. It has a couple, like, athletic things. 
The one from City Living is not called a jersey. It's a different kind of jersey. I don't like the colors. That's gonna have to do though. This person can have some books. Maybe we could get... Um... I don't know, I guess they could just have stuff like that. Maybe. The clutter kit has this like, I really don't like this item that much though is the problem. This like basketball and hat thing, but I guess we could use that because we might as well. And then are they gonna wanna have like, oh, I don't know. Can I get them something like this and then put the, we want to have the chair kind of in the middle of the room. Mini fridge. Oh wait, a mini fridge is kind of fun. I never put mini fridges in my people in my Sims bedrooms. That might actually be kind of like a silly thing to add in here. What if they have a mini fridge? <laughs> oh no, wait. A like actual sports equipment like the punching bag might be better. Because that way you can actually do fitness. Hmm. What about a... Do you think a treadmill would be better? Treadmill is like wild to have in a teenager's bedroom. But is that better like functionally gameplay wise? Because the punching bag takes up a lot of space because they have to like, has to have room to move around. Do you think the treadmill is better? To do fitness. <laughs> Don't judge me for saying it like that, okay? Yeah, we have the sports clutter on the ground already. We can maybe have the mini fridge still, even with all this, because we can just stick it over here. It can take up, like, the room doesn't have to be nicely laid out. This is fine. Go sports. That could be yellow too. That might be cool. We are doing our New Year's Eve stream tomorrow, Beanie. Yeah, we're gonna play Sims pretty much all night and then we'll um, like watch the countdown in Animal Crossing before midnight, so. Can Sims still walk past that? Yeah, they're a little bit smarter than you think. They'll be fine to get through there. Um, there's like a whole tile, basically. It's two half tiles, but. Fridge with stickers on it. Oh, I was looking at that one. I didn't like the stickers on the one that matched. I, I don't think that like the floral stuff matches this room. The pink, there's no pink in here. Um, and I don't really, like that one has sports stuff, but I don't like the color of it. So. Um, can Sims get on the wall side of the bed? Like scoot into over here? They're better at scooting now, yes. Um, but I'm sort of picturing that only one Sim is gonna live here anyway. So it doesn't really matter that much. Um, but they can scoot, so if that answers your question. I don't like how any of the rugs look. Everyone keeps saying to add a rug, but I'm not, it's not speaking to me. <laughs> All of the rugs are kind of yikes, you know? Oh, that's the wrong thing. Maybe get a little one underneath there. I think the clutter helps take up the space. I don't know. Let's try and furnish the upstairs then. We can always come back to it if we're feeling, sometimes if you're feeling a little bit stuck, which is kind of how I feel at times with this sort of thing. Sometimes when I feel a bit stuck, it helps me to like take a step back, you know, um, and then come back to it. So up here, we were talking about turning this loft space into a um, art studio. So, um, canvas, oh my god. <laughs> There's a handful of different canvas things that we could try to use. Decorations. No, I still haven't played House Slipper 2. I, I haven't streamed it yet. Um, I'd like to find some time soon to play it. Um, we've been doing a lot of Sims, like pretty much non-stop Sims recently. So I haven't had a uh, time or a chance to play House Slipper yet. 
City living. They should get simmers and actual designers to design the furniture. They have with a couple of kits, um, not with all of them, obviously, um, but they they work with people for for uh, a decent amount of things these days. Um, also, like the the concept artists that make the stuff for The Sims Four, I don't even think that they do a like they don't do a bad job. You know, um, obviously, it's always cool to have like real life designers and and to collab with simmers and stuff for ideas, but. Um, it's not like they're, you know, making stuff that is bad, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. What if I use that almost like a little divider? Oh, what do you think about that as an idea? That's kind of cool. But I, I like when they collab with Simmer specifically. I think that's quite cool. And I feel like the times that they've collabed with, um like real life fashion designers. Oh, maybe we don't need a divider. The times they've collabed with like real life fashion designers um, has always like resulted in some really impressive stuff. So um, if you ever did a collab with the same as what pack would you like to do? I People ask me this all the time and I never know how to answer it. Cause I think that like my actual answer is that I really want them to make like a beds kit. <laughs> it's just like a whole bunch of beds, but I don't think that they want to do that. And I don't think that that like lines up with their plans for the Sims. <laughs> so, so I don't know if that would ever happen. Um, but truthfully, that is what I want. <laughs> that would be my choice. Um, but I don't have an idea for like a specific style of thing. It's more like a type of item that I want, I guess. Um, but they haven't asked me to collab with them on anything. Probably because I just keep talking about a bed pack and they're like, don't give her any ideas. <laughs> we don't need that. They're probably like, no one, we are not interested in that. <laughs> don't talk to her about it. I like that thing. I don't want to use that chair up here because I'm trying to bring in more of the colors that we were using downstairs again. Um. Okay. Anyway, I last year when I made my like Sims wishlist video, and you're gonna see this video on on Monday, on January first, too. My like take two um, Sims wishlist 2024. I talked about like some of the ideas I had for like packs I want to see and stuff like that. Um, and every time I always talk about how I really badly want to have like a kit that has like rugs and curtains and beds <laughs> but that's not really a good combo but like rugs and curtains i think that's my most desperate desire is for more swatches on those things um so i keep talking about it in like that context i guess but um that's what i want that is what i want the most um Slanted walls. Oh, I don't know if I don't know if I can imagine that happening in The Sims 4. Slanted walls. Um, sorry for yawning. <laughs> it is an interesting idea. I just don't know if I can picture like them actually doing that, I guess. I don't know. Curious concept. Um how would that work? Like what exactly does it entail, I guess, is the question. Um, I want to use this. I also want to use this, though. So maybe I could, like... So I can have both of those and then put some little clutter on it. Not sure it'd be necessary. Yeah, I don't think that they would be able to do that in The Sims. It's, I mean, like, in real life, um... Here... The, I was like, where, what part of the room does it do it? <laughs> the roof slants in this room. You can't see it, obviously, it's off camera, but because um, the, you know, the roof of the house is there, so the room starts going into the roof of the house um, in here. That's kind of common in real life, obviously, uh, to have stuff like that. I just don't know if I can picture it in The Sims, because The Sims operates on such a cube and such a, like, grid um, that it's hard to envision a thing like that in the game, like, properly functioning. I would like to see them give us the ability to build walls on half tiles. Like right now you can only build walls like here. I want to build a wall here in the middle where my mouse is, not where the wall tool is. I want a wall here. 
Um, that's my bigger dream. <laughs> if we're gonna start trying to build off grid, <laughs> I wanna build off grid like that and have half tiles for walls. Um, that would really be cool, I think, if we had more options like that. Um, yeah, and placing like a column on a half tile as another example, that would be so good. Um, alt placement of gates. Oh yeah, we can't even alt place gates. See, like that kind of stuff is what I'm desperate for at the moment, I guess. Um, I don't like that. Maybe I use this one again. I like this one because it has more pattern to it. Yeah, the quarter thing seems a little bit more, po or the half tile thing seems a bit more possible to me for them to do, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, what do we put on this big wall? Yeah, it's weird because you can free place doors and gates are just doors, but they're on a fence instead of a wall. So it is quite strange that you can't free place them. It's almost like an oversight. Um, the desk is functional still, right? What, this one? Why wouldn't it be? Nothing, nothing changed here. Um, okay. Ooh, maybe we could use these. Do they size up, okay? What if I had that really big and we used a different desk? Yeah, the chair is quite far away from the stairs. You look at over that, it's a full tile, so. Um, we got more space. Um, Kayla, is that your name? Is that T? I never knew. What, like, is my name being Kayla T? <laughs> Um, I don't think so. <laughs> That's not a surprise or a secret or anything. <laughs> don't worry. If that's what you're asking. Um, it, that's been out there <laughs> ever since I first started YouTube, so. Um, I guess I get called Simsy arguably most of the time. Um, so it makes sense, but. I will answer to either. Technically both are my real name, so. Um, either is good. <laughs> okay, even in real life I get called Simsy by a lot of people, so. Thought your name was Slimesy, okay. <laughs> I've been called that too, so. Actually, I wanna try and swap this out. I think I might try and put this like over here. I'm thinking that I might want to, um, I don't know. I, I'm thinking I might want to have like, maybe some chairs in the corner. I don't know if I like this art studio space or not. What pack refreshes do I want to see in 2024? Oh, this question breaks my heart truly. Cause the answer is I don't think they're ever going to make a pack refresh again. <laughs> Not to say I don't want them to, but I don't think they will. So it makes me sad to discuss. Um, I always said that if they were gonna do a pack refresh, I would actually want them to go back and refresh luxury party stuff. Not, not because I like luxury party stuff, but I think that luxury party stuff is really bad. Um, and it's like their oldest pack. So it's a good candidate for like an improvement. Um, so that's my thought process. <laughs> Why wouldn't they like do a pack refresh? Um, this is just me again, speaking from my uh, assumptions about their plans, but we had this talk yesterday. So I'm sorry for repeating myself if you were here yesterday. Um, but I think that like they did that first pack refresh of spa day because it was like an experiment to see if doing a pack refresh on a really old Sims pack would encourage people to buy an old Sims pack, like like a bunch of new people to buy it for the first time and like see if it was worth investing time in updating old packs to get some new people to purchase them. And I assume 
that no one did. <laughs> like my assumption uh, is that that people like enough people knew did not buy the spa day after they did the refresh, uh, and therefore it kind of made it not so worth it for them to do another refresh because um, it's not encouraging enough new sales of the pack. They're not just gonna do it out of the goodness of their heart. They're gonna do it because they want you to buy the pack. So. Um, if, if it's not working and like enough people aren't buying it because of the update, they're probably not going to do it again. So I think that that was just an experiment and that's why we haven't gotten one in a long time since. Um, I liked it. I'm really glad they did that, but I just don't know if they would do it again. So, um, well, so the refresh thing isn't meant to be a bug thing. I think that when people talk about like, like the spa day refresh wasn't like a let's go fix bugs in spa day. It was a let's add brand new content to spa day. Let's add nail painting to spa day. Let's add a bunch of stuff for kids. We'll get some more clothing. We'll get some more swatches of the yoga mat. We'll get the new aspirations. We'll get a new trait. Like the idea wasn't to fix bugs. It was to go back and add a bunch of new stuff, like actually add content to the pack. Um, bug fixes they could do anytime. That's unrelated. <laughs> um, bug fixes are not the situation. So I think when people say they want a, a dine out refresh, almost I think they're talking about bug fixes and not so much new content because I don't know what new content they could add to dine out. Um, for me, like a refresh would be like them going back to get to work and adding an extra career, you know? Um, and like adding more content to an old, old pack um, is what I think of. Um, but anyway, I think people talk about like the bug fix thing is a completely separate issue and not so much the same as them going back and adding content to a pack. Fixing the existing content and, and <laughs> adding content is different. Um, the, the fixing would be great, <laughs> but sort of a different uh, conversation, I guess. Um, or like a refresh to Island Living to, to like fix the mermaids, to have them have like a proper skill tree and stuff, like how the other occults do. Um, so I don't know. That's kind of my thought. A firefighter career? So that kind of thing would be kind of cool. I don't know. Or like fi an update to aliens to have the aliens have as much as like the vampires do. Like that's sort of what I am picturing when I talk about like a pack refresh. I'm not really talking about like going back and making dine out work better, <laughs> you know? Um, what, could they add to luxury party stuff to make it good? We actually had a whole conversation about this a while back. I had a bunch of ideas. Number one, I was thinking about potentially like a, like a party planning type of career or something like a like really go all out with a party thing. Maybe if they added a couple new types of parties, like events that your Sims could throw, um, they could they could try and give you maybe like a I don't know if they could do a skill, but like maybe a new trait, maybe a new aspiration about parties, like um, something something like that. Um, the luxury party pack needs like a significant amount more of gameplay to make it like comparable to the more recent stuff packs. So I like the idea of a career though. Um, or like maybe like a new venue, like you could build like a party venue or I don't know. I don't really know what it would entail. They, they're not going to do it. So it doesn't matter, but <laughs> that's kind of the, the thought that I was having about it. Um, is that that might be kind of a cool feature for them to add. Um, Daycare? <laughs> I mean, I would really like a daycare career. I don't know if a daycare career really fits with luxury party stuff, but <laughs> catering career? Yeah, that I feel like it might be a little bit too similar to the existing cooking career, but something, you know, something kind of fun like that. Um, daycare for get to work. Oh, that's interesting. I like that as a concept for get to work as a refresh. Cause I like, I really want a, an active daycare career. Um, oh, okay. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, I really wish that growing together had an actual daycare. This, this is the thing you guys. So let me express to you my supreme disappointment and pain. So for literal years, okay, years, I've been begging for like a generation style Sims pack. That's like, that was a Sims 3 pack. Begging for a generation style thing in the Sims 4. Generations in the Sims 3 had an active daycare career. You could run a daycare from your house. I used to do that nonstop. That was like my favorite career in the Sims 3. I loved it. I always did that with my Sims. And then 
I I want that so bad in The Sims 4. And I was like, it's perfect opportunity. They could do the baby update. They could give us this daycare career. And then they asked me to do the builds for growing together. So I get told, hey, we're doing this like family style pack. Very limited information about the gameplay that I was initially given when they told me about it. But I'm sat here like, daycare, 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 daycare. The pack comes out. Or I finally get like my hands on it to do the builds. No daycare. Soul crushing, soul crushing. And I couldn't eat like, this is like before anyone else knew about it, right? Cause it was like before the pack was even announced and stuff. I had to be soul crushed in private. <laughs> terrible, <laughs> absolutely terrible. I was so sad. <laughs> I wanted it so badly. I still want it so bad. I would do anything for a daycare career in this game. I really mean that too. <laughs> and the stroller thing also, yeah, that was soul crushing too. I didn't know that until like right before the pack was gonna come out because when they're having us do the builds, the pack's not done. Like there is no gameplay really because they're still working on it. And like we're, when I first started making the builds, we didn't even have the pack content. Like I was doing it with the base game and I had like pictures of what the concept art for the new items was gonna be. And so I was like putting a, you know, base game chair, knowing I'm gonna swap it out for the pack one once the pack one is made, cause it wasn't done yet. So I kept waiting the whole time, like waiting, waiting, waiting. Like when are they gonna add the strollers? When are they gonna add the strollers? When are they gonna add the strollers? And they never out of the strollers. <laughs> we never got them. <laughs> I was so sad. <laughs> poor, poor, sad strollers. The baby carrier backpacks are interesting. I never use it, but I would prefer to stroller. So, um, yeah, I never use the infant carriers. I liked the idea of them because it w I thought it would be cool for like multitasking with my Sims, but in reality, it's not actually as useful as I thought it was going to be. So I guess they're kind of glitchy. So that's part of it. Um, I just saw someone say like, watch them do a separate pack with a daycare career. And can I say something controversial? I almost don't think I would be that mad about that. Imagine it was like a stuff pack with a daycare career, kind of like how the paranormal pack has the ghost hunting career. If it was like a stuff pack with a home daycare career and the stuff pack had like a bunch of infant stuff and like a bunch of infant clothes and it's like infant and toddler focused, I actually wouldn't be that mad about that. It, it seems like a good opportunity to have like a bunch of stuff for the little ones because we don't really have much for the infants yet. Um, and then like, we'd have a cool new career. So I actually think that I wouldn't even be mad if they did that. Um, then they make it a game pack. I don't know. It'd be hard for them to make a whole game pack out of just one daycare career, but I guess maybe, I would probably still like that though. I, I, I would like a, another pack about babies. Um, it wouldn't be a whole expansion pack based just on daycare, but they could do a stuff pack based on daycare probably. Well, there is a babysitter career, but it's like a part-time babysitter job for your Sims. Um, and because it's part-time and it's uh, just like a regular job from the base game, your Sims just go like on the weekends for a couple hours and babysit. What I want is to like run a daycare, like have an active job where my job is to take care of the kids. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. I'm trying to find, I want that like dream home decorator, you know, or maybe it's base game. What, it, it's like a board, but it's from like the fashion designer career or something. What is it called? This mood board. Oh, it's, this is, this is the one from get together. Get to, no, what am I saying? I was gonna say get to, home decorator or something. No, I wanted that. That's what I was picturing. Trend. There is like a trend board. That was what I was picturing actually is the trend trending style board. Oh, that's what I was imagining. Maybe this one's better though. Cause it has more stuff on it. That's what I thought. The style influencer one is what I was trying to find. It's called the trending style board. And when I searched board, it didn't come up. Cause it's called dashboard. So you have to search 
No, never mind. Style board. Style. Style! I'm experimenting. Sorry, everybody. That's annoying. <sighs> oh, well. So this room is going to be the primary bedroom then. For the daycare one, it could be get to school. <laughs> oh, people want like a an active elementary school. I, I really like the idea of that. I know that the high school one I don't use as much, but I think the active elementary school would be so cute. If you could be a teacher though, not so much to be a kid, but if you could do both, if I could be the teacher of active elementary school, I think that'd be so fun. I guess in reality, the gameplay would be like really boring and repetitive, but I want my Sims to be a teacher. I guess functionally active teacher career is probably not that interesting because they would just like stand there and talk like the ones in high school years do, but <laughs> I think it would be cool. It's too similar to the teacher career from university, but I feel like the university teacher career, it's not like elementary school teacher vibes, you know? And that's what I want. That's what I dream of. Okay, so in this room, yeah, it's like professory, the university one. As an actual teacher, please no. <laughs> really? I used to have all my Sims um, when I was a kid in The Sims 3. They would all either be a daycare uh, run, they would daycare runner, they would run a daycare, or they would be a teacher. Every time, every single time, without fail. And I would also only ever play as girls, and then they would have like five kids and then never go to work. <laughs> Cause in The Sims 3, you have forced maternity leave. Um, and so like basically you just never have an active day at work if you're having babies. Women aren't allowed to work in The Sims 3, apparently. <laughs> it's sort of how it worked, but <laughs> that's what I would do is have them be a teacher. So, <laughs> yeah, you have maternity leave before and after having a baby. Realistically, that is very actually nice. <laughs> it's probably not even a bad thing. Like it's, it's very nice that uh, your Sims have access to all of that maternity leave. Um, the other parent didn't get maternity leave, only the, the Sim who was pregnant did, but um, it would be cool if we had that in real life. I just don't want my Sims to have to do it. Um, okay. Um, I wanna try and mimic some of the color schemes from downstairs. Let me also find some Dream Home Decorator stuff. Dream Home Decorator bed, perhaps. Maybe I could use the one that I don't like. I really dislike this bed. So maybe I'll try to make that one work. Yeah. Whoever said a pack with only new careers, I stand by that. What, like get to work? <laughs> like get to work, but 2.0? My second get to work stuff? I, um, maybe this is controversial, this opinion about careers in The Sims. I almost don't really want more active careers. Get to work. Oh my God. I almost don't really want more active careers. What I am more interested in is more like, I, I like careers because of the label of them. And like being able to say, oh, my Sim is an astronaut or my Sim is a chef or what, you know, I just like to have a title and then like a different skill to have to work on. I don't really care to actually go to work with them. So I, I would love to have a bunch of new careers that, that just, they aren't even active, just regular plain, plain careers. I just want to have more like that just so I can have some variety in what I say my Sims do. Cause I, active careers are fun sometimes, but most of the time, I don't actually end up wanting to go to work with them. So, I don't know. More, I want more like base game style careers. Honestly, they could be in the base game too. It could be a base game update. <laughs> that would be nice. But I want more base game style careers at times. Um, Molly's 30, Ashley Fonald, Lizard, thank you for the subs, and Mel and Nia and Palindrome, thank you so much. Um, okay played lawyer for the first time this week. Can I tell you something about the lawyer career? 
I have not played the lawyer career in years. You know why? When I last played the lawyer career, it was with Piper Potts, who was the legacy founder of my stupid Not So Berry save, but like Not So Berry's on Gen 18. She was Gen 1. She was a lawyer and then she died prematurely because I put her in my stupid pond. And I'm pretty sure I haven't used the lawyer career since then. <laughs> I'm, I don't remember a time that I've had a sim be a lawyer except for her. So. <laughs> I need to do it again. Well, we talked about having, we talked about like trying to revive her soon-ish. Um, Maybe in our legacy save, um, like like for Gen 20, if we tried to revive her, I'm I'm still not opposed to that. We can do that. We can bring her back. It might be kind of fun. Bring her back and <laughs> we can be the lawyer thing again. No, Tomato was a politician. Um, so not quite a lawyer. Can revive sims that old yeah her ghost was a, was at our house the other day her ghost was in my kid's bedroom that's how we started talking about it is because she was in there and we were like oh my god it's piper <laughs> and then we were like wait what if we <laughs> what if we revived her um i don't like how this looks above here it's not it needs to be like wider and she had a bag on her head yeah she was playing on the computer <laughs> She came into our house to use our computer. Um, I, if I'm being honest, Mandy, I don't know if I have any sort of special setting on to prevent my ghosts from being cold. I'm actually completely not sure the answer to your question. Um, she's still in my family tree and she's still, her ghost still shows up. I have her grave. I might have like done the thing where you click on her and I don't know, her grave or whatever, but I don't remember. It's been so long. So I know that's not a helpful answer for you, but <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, yeah, there's like, you can use MC Command Center to stop culling like to a degree, right? But I don't, I think that no matter what, eventually some of them will get culled. Um, but I don't really know how to work on that. So, a lot of Piper's family has been culled from the family tree. Like her kids, only one of them still is there. But, didn't know there was a lawyer career. Oh, the lawyer career is from a university. It's one of the careers that you can get a bunch of like career bonuses on if you have your Sims go to university. Thought you said cold. Oh no, cold. C U L L E D. Like the game deleting them is what we're talking about. Sorry, that's confusing. <laughs> My bad. Uh, we're talking about the game deleting the Sims. Your Sim only has one day left. Uh oh. <laughs> Good luck to them. Um, maybe I'll try and put a fireplace in here. Hmm. Yuck. That's like not the right color at all. In kind of an upsetting way. Do you think I can use that color? Yeah, I would like to have a family tree update too. There's a lot of little things that I'd like them to go back and do like that. Um, I don't know. I don't like this room. The downstairs of this house, I think, is kind of bland. I like the bedrooms a lot. But I don't think that I'm I'm thriving with the downstairs right now. Maybe I'll put a mirror above this. Uh, okay. Oh, Kira, I'm really, really sorry about that. I, um, my family went through uh, a loss of a cat also this year. And if it makes you feel any better, this is probably not helpful, but I don't cry every day anymore. 
<laughs> I've only cried a couple times recently <laughs> over it. So it does get a little bit easier, <laughs> I promise. I know it's really hard right now and it sucks and it's horrible, but it does get a little bit easier. <laughs> God, that's pitiful to talk about, isn't it? Um, I don't. I still cry sometimes about my childhood dog as well. He passed away when I was like 13 years old and I'm 24. And I still cry sometimes when I think about him. But <laughs> it's it's sort of a different kind of cry now too with him. Our, my family's cat only passed away a couple months ago, but the, my, my dog, I, it's almost like a, I'm like, like fondly remembering now. Not so much like like a devastated sort of cry, but in like a, oh, it's nice to, to think about you sort of cry, you know? Um, so it's just a little different, I guess. Um, but I sometimes I have dreams about him. <laughs> I'll have dreams where he's like at the house. Isn't that so weird? <laughs> it happens to me like, I don't know, maybe like once a year or something. It always is really nice, I think, when that happens. Um, okay. I don't know about this room. Maybe I could give them like some bookshelves on, no, I don't know about that either. How about a hanging plant? Didn't I put one here? Yes. Hanging plant is good. These walls are tall, so that helps take up some space. Oh, that is good, okay. Okay. You had a dream last night that you had lunch with Taylor Swift in a food court. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of fun. What'd you guys have to eat? Do you guys think Taylor Swift has... When do you think was the last time Taylor Swift went to a food court? <laughs> Christine, what did she order <laughs> in your dream? This is really important. It's for science. We need to know. Auntie Ants. Oh, that's a good pick, Taylor. Good choice. <laughs> Everybody likes a pretzel. It was pizza. Oh, that's a good pick too, though. Okay. I respect that, Taylor. I respect that. I'm like thinking back to my, like our local mall from that I grew up going to. I don't know if there's a single thing that I could eat there now. Maybe I could get some fries. I don't remember if we have a, like a sandwich place. I could maybe get like a veggie sandwich too. I don't think they have one there though. Dead mall, you know how it goes. <laughs> you know how it goes. <laughs> she consoled you about a fight you had with your friends. A dr so you dreamt that you had a fight and then Taylor Swift got pizza with you and consoled you over it at the food court. That was nice of her. Wow. <laughs> anyway, I haven't been to like my local mall's food court in a while. I've been to like the big mall, the better mall. Cause you know, I don't know about you all, but here I had like my, my like local small dying mall. But then in Orlando, this one, maybe some of you know about if you've been to like Florida on vacation, there's a place called the Mall at Millennia and it's like newish and very fancy and they have like fancy stores in there and it's next to Ikea. So I've been to that food court more recently. <laughs> so <laughs> that one I'm more used to because <laughs> it's like, you know, by the Ikea and stuff. <laughs> um, anyway. Is it Felix? It makes me sad when I think about the mall, like not doing well. Cause when I was younger, uh, we used to go there and we would just walk around <laughs> and I loved it. I was thriving. So it makes me quite sad when I think about the mall, like not doing well anymore these days. Um, I don't like it. I need to do more to support my mall, huh? Um, Okay, so let's move on to the next apartment real quick. This one is going to be, uh, I was thinking like big family apartment. 
we're gonna like furnish these rooms for like multiple kids to share and then I want the loft space to be a playroom was kind of the thing well me and my friends we used to go because there's a Barnes and Noble in the mall and me and my two friends in high school we used to go like on a Saturday and we would just go to the Barnes and Noble and be there for like two hours we wouldn't even buy anything so we didn't have any money so we would just go to the Barnes and Noble and like look at the books <laughs> And like sit on the floor of the Barnes and Noble. <laughs> that was our uh, weekly activity. We'd go walk around Target afterward as well. <laughs> oh, those are the good old days. <laughs> I miss it. I did that today at the bookstore. Not two hours though. I went to the farmer's market and then the bookstore afterward with Dan and I just walked around and then Dan held our bag of vegetables and I walked around the bookstore. <laughs> And Dan just trails behind me. <laughs> okay, can one of the kids run the UFO light? Oh, I like that idea. We can do that. I think I'm going to decorate the playroom first because I'm most excited about it. I want to do the playroom. I think it's going to be fun. I'm going to make it like very kids vibes. Um... Yeah, I mean, that makes sense though, Christine. Even if you don't like actually buy physical books and you like mostly read on your Kindle or whatever, it's still nice to go to a bookstore just for the vibes. And then you pick out things you want to get, you know, from the library later. <laughs> like on your Kindle, you know? <laughs> Make a list. Um, you miss borders? Yeah, we, our borders closed when I was quite young. Our borders closed maybe in like, Maybe I'm misremembering, but I swear it closed in like 2011 or something. So it's been a while. Um, I, I didn't grow a strong attachment to her because she was short lived in my life. Um, can you report someone on heyday because they drew something bad with the field? I don't know. I've never reported anybody on heyday. I'm sure there's a way to like report the farm. Hold on. Like in the top, I'm, I'm opening the app. <laughs> I bet in like the top left corner of the farm, cause you can like add them as a friend there. I bet you can report them there too. Hold on. Add friend invite, oops, I liked their farm. No, I followed them too, oh, uh-oh. Do you know how to report their farm? Maybe you can't. Hmm, I don't know. Sorry, I have no answer. What is Kayla's heyday number? Oh, I, I've never shared that. I'm not accepting friend requests from strangers in heyday. My only friends are my siblings and Dan. <laughs> Isn't Borders a bookstore? Yeah, 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 Borders, um, well, was a bookstore. Are they still around at all? Barnes and Noble welcomes Borders customers. Oh, did Barnes and Noble buy them? Defunct September 28th, 2011. Oh yeah, so I was right about the timing of it closing here, probably. Oh. Hold on, I'm gonna find out when it closed. Um, oh, I can't find it. Never mind, sorry everybody, I don't know. We used to go there, but I don't remember when the last time I did was. <laughs> Um, should we use stuff like this? Let's get some fun, like, really kids room stuff. Um, Jello, the keyboard that I'm using right now is the... Hold on. <laughs> this is the Logitech G815 Tactile. Is what I am currently using. For a while I was using the, um the Aurora Collection keyboard, but it doesn't have a number pad. So I kind of go back and forth. I also have this one. She's cuter, but um, I currently am using the, this one is not wireless either. It's wired that I have right now. Looks like, can you see, where's the camera? Like that. I can't show you because the way the cords are plugged in. There you go, that's better. Looks like that. Um, you went to Borders for the Breaking Dawn release party? Oh my gosh. Oh, I remember, wait, what, what, what book was it? 
I think it was... No, it must have been a Cassandra Clare book. Me and my friend Callie, I was at her house visiting her over the summer in Wisconsin years ago. And we went to her local bookstore um, to buy a Cassandra Clare book and like go to the release party of that. <laughs> I can't remember what book it was. I think it must have been a Cassandra Clare book though, because that would have been the correct era. But um, I was obsessed with her books when I was in high school, like literally obsessed with them. Obsessed. Wisconsin. Yeah, I so my my family lives in Illinois, my grandparents and stuff. Um, and at the time, she was like my best friend. She was my internet friend as well. Um, and because she was in Wisconsin and I was in Illinois, her parents and my grandparents like met halfway to drive me up there so I could go visit her for a few days over the summer one year. <laughs> so. <laughs> um. Oh, maybe it was Clockwork Prince. You know what? It might have been the release of that book. I'd have to go back and like look at the, um... Wait. You know what it might have been? The Bane Chronicle. No, that's too early. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking of ideas. Hold on. Was it that? No. I wonder what it was. That was too soon though. It would have been in like 2017, 2016. I don't remember. Doesn't matter. That, but that's my, I have that memory from when I was younger. <laughs> was it Lady Midnight? It might have been. I don't remember when these things came out. It all kind of blurs together. March 8th, 2016. No, it would have been over the summer. Hmm. Well, we're not getting anywhere with this. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> we can stop trying to figure it out. It's okay. It doesn't matter that much. Um, this looks bad. Maybe I'll delete you so I can put these higher up. That looks better, I think. Whoa, it's disappeared. Pets curtains. I don't know if I want to use the pets curtains. Um, I don't know. Cause this is like a little bit more, like I think the pets curtains won't match with, I don't know. The shelf reminds you of the PlayStation symbols. <laughs> I actually can see that. That's funny. Um, when did I last save? Ooh, probably too long ago. <sighs> that looks bad. It really actually looks bad, so that's not good. I don't know. Lots of university windows lately. Well, Courtney, they work well for old style townhouses like this. Um, yeah, I had them sized down once, but that was before I raised them up like this. If I size them down, they uh, won't work raised up like this anymore. Um, okay, we can put it back to being small. They're just lower down, but it can be okay with them being small. I think it's fine like that. This isn't the last unit, but we're gonna leave one of them empty. So we'll have furnished three townhouses and then two basement apartments and then leave one empty for like people that wanted to play in it. They would be able to like use it themselves. Um, no snails, we decided yesterday to finish this build. We had a lot of discussion about how we cannot leave this build unfinished until next year. <laughs> I was like, we have to finish this build by the end of the year. We just can't, we can't not do that. <laughs> And even in the stream schedule, I said I might not play on so very, I don't know. Um, I was seeing how the builds were going to turn out. So, and it turns out we needed to finish the build, so. Um, okay, I think that looks cute. Right? What other kid stuff can we get them? I really liked the idea of this playroom situation. I think it's kind of fun. 
You know what I never use? Let's do some of the big stuff. Like, what if we gave them the puppet theater? We can put that somewhere. We could maybe get, like, this thing. Maybe we could have... Oh, I don't know. I don't think I want to do any toddler stuff. It's too big. But we can give them, like, a toy box. We could have an infant thing. These kids are definitely in private school. <laughs> well, you're not wrong about that. I would I would guess the answer is yes on that one. <laughs> we can get some of those art tables, too. Um, let me look through, like, all the parenthood stuff, because... I think I'm in debug, obviously. I think I'll probably use this. But oh, 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 what about this blocks table? I never use this. I actually cannot remember the last time I placed this thing down. Does it even work? Um. It does? Okay, cool. It's cute. I just don't ever use it. So this is a good chance for us to try and use it. Um, okay, what color should I make this for it to match better? I guess we have like a... Ew. Well, should we do it with like the darker wood? Because so much of the rest of the house has the darker wood. That might be okay. Buildum's blocks and feet are natural enemies. Much pain occurs when the two meet. Okay. You like the white? Yeah, I kind of do too, but I'm also like sort of tempted to try to, um... No, we should use the white. I can use that in white. Add the Sims Pokemon thing. Oh, uh, I never use that either. How are we gonna have enough space for all this? <laughs> How are we gonna have space for all these things? Maybe they have no, the, maybe they don't have an infant. Maybe it's just toddlers and children and they don't have any infants here. Cause one of the other places has an infant. So maybe no infant. Um, okay, maybe I'll put the toy box like next to this thing. I wanna use a more fun toy box, I think. Oh, we'll move the drawing table. It's it's not meant to just be there. We're, we're kind of just putting stuff down that I wanna use. <laughs> it's not gonna just be in the middle of the room, don't worry. <laughs> I'm just putting some stuff down so I don't forget it. Um, kind of as like a space saver, I guess. That's like a fun hamburger one. I don't know if I like it. Oh, the school bus version might be kind of cute. Um. Friendly reminder to dust out your PC. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, I need that reminder. <laughs> I don't want to listen though. Okay. Um. Uh, this school box, toy box, is from the toddler stuff pack. It is kind of cute. Um, okay, so... Maybe, like... I don't want to listen either, I'm dusting right now. Yeah, we, we all should probably do a little refresh <laughs> and clean out the PC. Um, okay. Maybe, like... We'll put a couple toys on the floor for them. Something like that. That's nice. Maybe on this wall, we could put... Oh, we know from Parenthood, the, um... It's like a really cute little kids art thing. Maybe I'll put it over here, actually, because this might be a better use of the space. That doesn't even fit. Okay, maybe I'll put it over here, just so it's out of the way. 
This could go over here. The kids can play with it on the floor. Uh-oh. This might end up being better for their own bedrooms instead of up here. I'm kind of nervous now about, like, spacing. Hmm. Are we going to run out of space? Like, <laughs> that is the question. This is also supposed to be space for toddlers, too. So we're going to want to get some of, like, the little toddler blocks as well. Whose bedroom is beside the playroom? Oh, this is going to be the, the parents' bedroom. Which I guess is maybe not the quietest place to have your bedroom. However, they probably like it because this way they can keep a close eye on the kids. So it's probably a good thing. Um, maybe we could look at this stuff from growing together. I want to look at like some of the, you know, that kids art thing. Oh, this stuff is so cute. <laughs> we should put some of this stuff. Even if we just have this one, come on, that's adorable. We have to do that. Board games? Oh no, we need to find space for it to work. We could store it in there probably. I can put a couple of these little like debug kids artworks here. At the playroom right by the staircase. Yeah, it's the third floor too. <laughs> it's probably not like the best place in the world for there to be a playroom. It's nice and open. Yeah, I wish that we had this teddy bear separate. That would be a cute item. If we had like the teddy bear that you could just use as a decoration, not attached to the giant box. Pretend there is a baby gate. You, Yeah, guys, you just pretend there is one, okay? <laughs> you just pretend. Oh, and the kids are never gonna, well, the kids, the older kids can be up here unsupervised. The, the, Tiny babies will never be up here unsupervised. The infants, or the toddlers, I mean, won't come up here unsupervised. So it's okay. It's a kid's room, not a space for babies and toddlers, so it's fine. You know what we could get? What if we had, like, the nifty knitting craft stuff? Because it would be kind of cute for the kids to have access to, like, some craft supplies. And I don't even think that that's super unrealistic that might be nice yeah babies can't get upstairs so it doesn't matter we're fine get a couple of these things okay i need to make more of an effort to put playrooms in more of my builds because it's actually really fun to have playrooms <laughs> what i was trying to get and i got distracted again <laughs> what i was trying to get was that art display board thing from growing together and I grabbed like literally everything except for that. This is what I wanted. I think that might take up too much space though. So maybe it's not a good idea. My whole house is a playroom. Yeah, that makes sense, Christine. Um, yeah, I think playrooms are a fun feature for kids in The Sims. I need to, I need to try and do this sort of stuff more often because this is cute. I really like it. Um, maybe if we had some cute artwork that was, like, sort of kid-focused, we could maybe use the cupcakes. We just hang up a bunch of cupcakes on the big main wall. I don't know. I don't know. That seems okay to me. Okay. You can use the plus and minus keys on your number pad to change the swatch like that, by the way. Um, let's see. Maybe we could get a couple more. Uh oh, sorry for yawning, everybody. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. We can get some blocks. Maybe I'll get the Wabbit tablet and we can put it in this little shelf. Easy access for the kid. 
stars are messed up. Oh, look at that. I didn't realize I had done that. Um, and maybe we can use it. Oh, look at this little tiny thing. That's so cute. <laughs> I just got too excited about that probably. What about a dragon? We could size it up just a bit. I don't know. No, let's use an actual decoration instead. They'll try and pick up the toy if it's an actual toy. And that's bad, probably. Mm. Oh, really? You don't slot there? Okay. <laughs> of course you don't. You don't either? Really? I'll just put it there anyway. Because that looks kind of cool, right? All right. Let's pick a more fun tile. I'm kind of leaning towards like, oh, I don't like the wood colors on this. We already used that one elsewhere. I don't think I want to do that one. Let's use like, oh, didn't I end up not using this blue and yellow? Oh, we could do this one in here then. That'll be good. You're gonna say you love tiles in the bathroom? Oh no, we, we used them already. Um, we had like the same tile everywhere. And so we're going through and like changing it up. So it's not the same in every single of the four. Um, so we, we do have them still. This one has the same, but slightly different color scheme. Um, oh, I didn't put like, why didn't I decorate this bathroom more? What is wrong with me? Let me add some stuff in here quick. This is the problem with doing a build this big. I like lose track of what I'm working on myself. <laughs> I forget to do stuff. Oh, really, Christine? That's so cute. <laughs> I love that. Um, maybe we could get one of these little guys. Nope, scoot that over further. There we go. Put that like right there. That gives us at least something to work with, kind of. Don't know how many builds we've done. This is our third townhouse and our fifth total because there's two basement apartments. And we're starting for some reason with the, oops, what did I just do? We're starting for some reason with the third floor on this one. So that's throwing us off, or at least it's throwing me off. I don't know if it's throwing you off as much as it throws me off, but <laughs> starting up here is weird. Um, okay, steal this. What should you name your peach gen baby? Ooh, good question. Um, I think I struggled the most with the names on the peach gen out of all of them. I'm gonna use these horrible blue tiles again. Everybody wanted me to keep them in the other place. So hopefully you don't regret that request, but <laughs> cool Armadillo and, and ooh, and artist and Kippy and Captain and Molly and Pistachio and Colleen, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Apricot, oh, that's cute. I named my peach gen sim princess. <laughs> like princess peach, so. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else likes that name, but that's what I went for. <laughs> um, parenthood, okay, maybe. Oh, that light yellow little bath mat might be nice. Is this the last apartment? Yeah, we're not gonna, we're gonna leave one of them empty on purpose on the gallery. So this will be the last one that we're actually gonna furnish. Um, because we wanted to leave one of them empty for people on the gallery. So that's nice at least. <laughs> We're almost through. <laughs> We've almost made it. You still like Princess Peach? I do too. I like genuinely think Princess Peach is kind of a fun name for a sim. I stand by it. I think it's cute. Um, am I gonna do a tour? Yeah, I'll give you a tour at the end. Um, forgive me for not wanting to go through and do that right this second, because, um, if I do it, I'm gonna lose steam and I'm never gonna finish this build. <laughs> but I, I will show you around and I'll post a YouTube video about this probably, like, next weekend. Well, let me see what I have. 
posting. Yeah, I'll probably post a speed build of this next weekend, I think. That sounds like a, a plan for me, so. I think I posted a speed build on YouTube today. Yeah, I did. I had to think about it. <laughs> I, had to, I had to like consider that one for a second. <laughs> I did. Um, you could name the Peach Gen Salmon. That's actually kind of a nice name. And then you just call him Sam. It works for anybody. It's a, that's actually a good idea. Peach, you could just call it Peach too. I don't, I didn't want to call mine Peach because I thought that might be like not wacky enough compared to what I had been doing, but you could also just call the same Peach. Um, Justin, as in just Peachy. <laughs> There's an idea. I had it, my siblings' names were Georgia like Georgia Peach, Princess, like Princess Peach, and James, like James and the Giant Peach. Um, so that's what I was working with. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do the downstairs and then come back up there. Cause I was just most excited about the playroom, but this wall I think is boring. Maybe I'll give them a, oh, said I was gonna stop and then I didn't thermostat maybe. Sure. Um, oh, did you ask? I haven't been on Twitter in ages. <laughs> I, I didn't see that. Well, that's good. Um, <laughs> when I first scanned your message, I was like, what did they say about me on Twitter? I'm so scared. <laughs> you hear Twitter and you're like, uh oh. <laughs> oh, a chore chart could be cute. That's a good idea, actually. Yes, peach actually is the color of 2024. Wait, let me show you. 2024 color of the year. I saw someone talk about this the other day. It's it's literally peach fuzz. Um, I kind of like it. This is the 2024 color of the year. Um, so Princess Peach, she is ahead of the curve. She's very trendy. <laughs> Yours have colors? Yeah, well, th these people make a color of the year every year. Does it actually mean anything? Well, I don't know. Um, Sometimes it like dicta dictates trends a little bit and stuff. Um, this was last year's, or I guess this year's. Next year, this year. Um, so, I don't know. Pantone has colors they do of the year. You determine if that means anything to you. <laughs> but this is this year's, so. <laughs> Reminds you of 2013, you had everything in peach and teal. Okay, me and when my era was not so peach and more of like a coral color, um, which I guess is similar to this, but just more vibrant. I like this color. I think it's pretty, oops, sorry. Dealing with bad cramps. I'm so sorry, friend. Hopefully, um, hopefully it doesn't last too long for you. I really, really apologize. Um, I've, you know, we've all been there, so. <laughs> yeah, like the bright coral. Yeah. Yikes. Okay, I'm looking for the chore thing. I think that might be a good way to add something to this area. Okay. Coral is a good peach gen name. Oh, there you go. Maybe that's the way. What was the color of the year in 2016? Oh, oh. I saw someone in the chat say they love them. I don't really ever pay attention to these, so I didn't know this. That is actually beautiful. I like that. That is nice. Now I want to see them all. 2017 was like a green color. Like that. Okay. 2018, ooh. 2018 was ultraviolet. Oh, this game is fun. I like learning these. 2019. <laughs> you know, you know, we were just talking about coral. That was 2019. They're late to the game. This is so 2014. So 2014. <laughs> uh, 2020. It's just blue, classic blue. 
Yikes. They had two. Not a fan. It's too vibrant and too gray. Okay, this was 2022 then. That feels quite similar to, I guess they are different, but that, it's too close. This is giving minions. I don't like it. That's the worst one since 2016 for sure. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay. <laughs> you hate the minions? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Do those get voted on? I have no idea. I don't know how it works. Um, you'll have to, you'll have to do that research yourselves, my friends. I haven't a single clue how that process works. Let's do the kids rooms first. Um, so there was talk about doing one that was like space themed and using the light from Strangerville. So, making a minion room? <laughs> you want me to make a minion room? Whoa, that's scary. I'll just let it be plain. Um, when you worked at JCPenney years ago, the color of the year was an emerald green, and one day at work we were encouraged to wear that color to work. Okay, JCPenney. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> All right. I think space is cool. You guys, I think this minion room concept is maybe a little bit too much for me. I don't know if I can pull it off. I don't understand the point of wearing the color of the year to work at JCPenney. So, I don't know. So you had to go and buy emerald green? I that's so annoying. Um, okay. Yeah, we- I always use the solar system light when I do rooms like this that are, like, space-themed. That's why I was trying to use this light instead. Um, does it not come with the weird blue color? Oh, no, it does. Sorry, false alarm. Um, maybe I'll put that there. I don't know. I don't know. What sort of wallpaper? Can you swap the wall the beds are on so it doesn't look like the other house? Oh, it's gonna look like the other house no matter what. Bear in mind, when you're actually playing here, you won't see all the houses at the same time. They won't be loaded all at once. So you don't need to worry about it that much. Um, the, the, they're similar, but you won't see them all together like this. Mint gen name ideas? Okay, I named mine about, um, it was like, like tooth themed stuff, <laughs> like toothpaste stuff. So my mint gen air was called Flossy, um, which I still kind of like. Uh, she had a sibling called Colgate, like the toothpaste brand. Um, I've seen some people call them Pepper, like Peppermint. Um, I had the- my original, like, the- dare I say, it was THE original Mint Gen Not So Berry Sim that me and Zoe made together when we first started the- writing the challenge. Her name was Minty Fresh, but spelt like M-I-N-T-I, but Minty is kind of like... It's not as chaotic as I would maybe normally go for these days. Um, that was back when I was young- younger and less chaotic. Um, <laughs> so... I don't know, um... Yes, space. Cool. Flossie is a real name. There are people people named Flossie in real life. Um, I think of Flossie as being like a very old school sort of name. Um, but it is a real name. Um, could be like a nickname for like Florence or something, you know? Um... Keep forgetting we can paint ceilings. Yeah, it's a cool feature now that we can actually paint the ceilings, huh? It's nice. Guys, I don't know what curtains to use. Maybe I'll do like, ooh, yikes. 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 
I want something. No, how about parenthood? Does parenthood work for this? Oh, they're a bit wider. These curtains make me feel sad. The weird sheerness, the color schemes, all of it. It's not screaming space. Maybe the black would be okay though. Can we try and make it work? I have a really hard time using these curtains. Every time I try to use these curtains, I just always feel like something seems off about them. Um, what about high school years curtains? These might be better. They have some more like excitement to them. Saturday, Simsy, stay an hour late, please. What, like, stream longer tonight? I'm not gonna be able to. I have to um, get some work done before tomorrow. Me and Dan are posting a... Well, I say me and Dan because he's currently editing it, but <laughs> I'm the one posting it. I'm posting, like, a, a clips highlight reel on YouTube tomorrow, um, and it's kind of an ordeal to get all the clips together, and it takes a while, so um, I unfortunately probably should not stream late tonight if I want to get that video up at a reasonable time tomorrow. <laughs> so I want to, I want to finish helping Dan work on it. Um, cause he like, he's been editing it and, and, uh, working on a lot of the clips, but it's like the kind of thing that I sort of need to have final say on almost. Cause like he wasn't even there, you know, I was there at the stream with these things, but, um, Okay, I'm gonna use the star lights again. Maybe I'll size them up though. It looks way better sized up. Way better sized up. I need to do that upstairs probably. Doesn't that look better? How long is it going to be? The highlight reel? I don't know. Um, it's sort of varied from year to year in length. Um, I guess it just depends. Oh, there's weird shadows. Oh. Oh. Uh. How much does that upset us? Probably a lot, right? Or do we care? Doesn't upset you at all? Okay, just ignore it. You can't really- well, you can see it now that I pointed out, huh? But it's not as obvious on the brick wall. So it's less annoying. Um, okay, parenthood. Sometimes with The Sims 4, you just gotta... You just gotta make do with what you've got. <laughs> we can't have it all. <laughs> Sometimes this kind of thing's gonna happen, we're just gonna have to accept it, so... Looks like polka dots on the wall. There you go, it's on purpose. See? <laughs> Undoubtedly, it's on me and Renzi, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Um, all right. Um, Kayla is all caps bad. A mod said it's not okay. So, um, here's the thing, you guys. <laughs> with all caps, with questions, and, and uh, demands in chat, like when you're like, why is the wall blue? And you scream it in all caps. It's, it comes across kind of aggressive. So that's why the mods ask people to not type aggressively. There's nuance here. It's not like all caps is always bad. It's more like yelling is bad. Um, and this is where things like tone tags can be useful if you don't want it to come across as yelling. Um, but sometimes context is important with stuff like this, but if you're, you know, screaming in all caps and or also spamming in all caps. Um, that's, you know, sort of not good. Please don't do that. Um, it's, it's sort of like a general ask that we have of people, um, because we see a lot of it specifically when building in The Sims and it's kind of overwhelming when you're just trying to build and people are yelling, <laughs> so. Um, okay. 
Oh, the skateboards. You're right. They have that alien abduction swatch. That's cute. So you're not gonna, like, get banned for it. It's just that they might delete your message if it's coming across, like, kind of mean or whatever. Um. Okay. Alien abduction. That's good. Um. But yeah, caps are fine. I type in all caps a lot, too. Just context is key with stuff like that sometimes, because sometimes stuff comes across ways maybe you don't intend it to, so. Um, okay, maybe, like, any of you look good for this? I'm almost thinking just, like, maybe a- no, not that color, but maybe just, like, a bluish color so we can put some toys. I don't know. You can go fast those watches by pressing the plus and minus key on your number pad on your keyboard, by the way. That's what I was just doing. Um, <laughs> that's a good point that C has just made. See, like typing in all caps, change the rug versus I love cats is sort of different. Cause like one of them, even if you don't mean it for it to be mean, yelling in all caps to change the rug is sort of implying, I hate the rug and I'm really mad at you for it. But saying you love cats in all caps is just sort of expressing excitement. So. It, even if you aren't trying to be mean with the, like, telling someone to change the rug comment, um, sometimes the all caps makes it seem like it is that way, even if that's not your intention, so. Um. Okay. The spaceship from Growing Together is perfect for this, too. We have that, like, this little toy. Maybe I could size it down and try and put it on top of the dresser. That takes up so much room. <laughs> I kind of like it though. Um, okay, you say everything in excitement? Yeah, caps are fun. I'm not trying to argue with you. <laughs> I'm just answering your question. <laughs> um, I'm just saying like sometimes when you type something that com could come across as aggressive in all caps, um, it, it might result in the mods deleting it and asking you to not yell at me because <laughs> I might perceive it as being yelled at. So again, that's where, where tone indicators are super helpful. Or you can just type things that don't seem aggressive. That also is nice. Not everyone can tell what that is, but you know, you could just not yell at me to change the rug and say you hate my build in all caps. You weren't doing that. A lot of people do. So. <laughs> Who made this poll? What is this poll? 5% ask, what is a cat? Interesting. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, maybe we could get some of the... Okay, maybe like... What's I looking for? This guy. This isn't really space-themed, but... I think that could be cute over here. Should I put this like, this thing? No, I don't like that. I did just save like two seconds ago, don't worry. But would you even notice the messages that aren't caps? <laughs> so you have hit the nail on the head exactly why I don't want people to spam in caps. Um, I read the chat. Everyone here in chat isn't typing in caps right now. You don't have to type in caps for me to notice it. <laughs> People often type in all caps and then copy and paste big giant blocks of text paragraphs thinking it means I'm gonna see it um, and just copy and paste it repeatedly. And when that happens, I actually ignore it on purpose. <laughs> Please don't copy and paste the same thing over and over again. <laughs> um, but you don't need to type in caps for me to see your message. That's, that is a silly assumption. Um, so don't worry. Um, okay. I like how that looks. I want to give them like maybe a. Anyway, we did. I, this wasn't meant to become like a whole thing. It really doesn't matter at all. <laughs> it's like such a non-issue. <laughs> it really, really, really doesn't matter. Um, it's one person asked a question and it spirals always. Um, there's four townhouses in the build and then two basement apartments in this house is what we have built. Um, but did you see this message? Yeah. I see, I would argue, almost every single message in chat. <laughs> Just because I don't read it out loud doesn't mean I didn't see it. Um, 
there's a lot more messages than I really am capable of reading out loud, I would say. So I read them in my head. Um, don't always read everything out loud or like don't always say everything out loud. Um, okay, snowy escape, maybe one of those things. And obviously sometimes like, you know, in, on Twitch, like if you look away for a second and um, a message scrolls past like before you get a chance to see it that does happen from time to time but i would argue that i i pretty decently read most things when i can so which is pretty much always <laughs> anyway anyway <laughs> um i can see the whole chat right now is going kind of slow so um I'm saving the game again. I just did, but it doesn't hurt to do it again just to be safe, does it? Um, ooh, saving kind of slow. This is stressing me out. Slow? Okay, well, <laughs> it's slow compared to some things that we've seen. How about that? <laughs> Maybe slow isn't the right word, but you know what I mean. Um, slow compared to some things. The spaceship on the counter? Oh, this is like a decorative spaceship sculpture thing from uh, Growing Together. Okay, so that'll be the kids' room. Let's make this into a toddler's room. We'll maybe have two toddlers share this room. Those starlights are base game. They're only base game, so everybody has them. Should we use like a really chaotic wallpaper? <laughs> um, okay, perhaps like... Oh my god, this thing is huge. If you size it down, they can still use it. So maybe I'll size it down in here. Space! Oh my god. What if we- hold on. What if we use this instead of the the art thing. Maybe we should. They have an art table up here, so they don't really need another one down here. This is something different. Oh, that's better. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> um, so what are the toddlers gonna have? I guess like... <laughs> this room is like clown themed. What if we actually made it clown themed? That's terrifying. What if we did it for real though? <laughs> I don't know, I kind of like it. <laughs> Erica, Fairy, Erin, Ellie, thank you for the subs. People say let's do it, so I'm taking that as a, a hard yes and I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> clown room, clown room. <laughs> We have officially reached the point of the build, um, where we're starting to be a little bit more chaotic. <laughs> um, these don't really come in the primary colors that I desire, but... We'll see what we can do. Um, okay, maybe like... Let me look at some of the base game furniture so we can get that little table thing. Maybe these kids, when they grow up, they could become professional clowns. That's actually a great point that you make in the chat there. Um, maybe that's their lifelong goal. Is to be a clown. We do have rainbow-ish curtains. Rainbow stars? Yeah, let's do the rainbow stars. Maybe I'll get the stars on the far ends. And then we could use, like, I know I've put them somewhere, these. I'll put the, f the curtain rod all the way across the top. Do you think it's worth it to put, here's the thing, right? There's so many windows. You know what we could do is maybe hang them like that. So it looks like they're kind of gonna cover all the windows. I don't know. 
an idea, maybe? I think that's okay. Do we have any rainbow rugs? Wait, city living. There is this one that has vegetables that I always think about. No. City living has some more rug things than you might realize that are like sometimes kind of fun to use. There's like the base game dots one, but I use that everywhere. So I'm kind of trying to think about one that is not this because I've been using that all over the place. Oh, 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 hold on. Oh, don't put it everywhere. Oh, we could put it everywhere. <laughs> I mean, we could do that. And then I could use the rainbow spots dots rug. High school years has a rainbow one, I'm being told. Oh, this one. Wait. I've used this swatch before. Are we talking about that one? Or do we mean the... That's like pastel rainbow. This is fuzzy rainbow. Hmm. Do you think the fuzzy rainbow is enough? It is a little pastel, like a little bit more pastel than I really wanted it to be, but... Oh yeah, toddlers and a fuzzy carpet are probably not the best combo. But, I don't know, I'm sure it's fine. Maybe, maybe it's not the smartest thing to do. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be okay. It's The Sims, it's fine. Um. Okay, that looks bad. Does this come in a pretty color? The balloon lamp, oh. That's a good idea, toddler stuff. Okay. There's like, is the balloon lamp not from the toddler stuff pack? What pack is the balloon lamp from? Seasons or something? Oh, it's base game. Oh. Why would I think the balloon lamp was from a pack? This is a weird item. It also does not have the colors you want it to. Okay. Oh, the crayon toy box. That's a good one too. Wait, seal this thing. There is balloon stuff in toddler stuff, which is probably why I thought that. That's perfect. Um, scoot that over. More space. Yeah, the toddler stuff pack has the balloons with the cushions. And that's what I'm thinking of. Okay, so do these come in rainbow by any chance? Yeah, they do. They sure do. What do you think about pairing that together so it has like butterflies behind the... I don't know if that's good or not. I don't know. Seiji, I usually stream for about three hours. But I'll probably- I'd like to be live until we finish this build, is kind of where I'm at right now. So, ooh, how about this guy? We could always get it in like, just a- I don't know, like a dog swatch. Do you want him to be a bigger butterfly? Oh, I always like to put them like this so it looks like a swirl. I guess you could put them next to each other. But even that, I feel like that doesn't... Because there isn't like a thing in the middle. I kind of like the... The swirls. The brick is throwing you off. We've got brick everywhere. Um, in this... Building. You're not gonna be happy with my alternative ideas. <laughs> 
I guess we could if we really wanted to. We could like um, get rid of the brick, sort of. Put that there. And then on this wall, maybe I could paint the brick. We talked about painting the brick in a different room and then decided against it, but we could paint it in here still. If it really bothers you. But I kind of like the brick. I think it's fun how we have the brick everywhere in like all the apartments. But I don't know. Um, let's see. Kids, do you want like... I'm so, as I'm talking to them, I'm like, kids, do you want a decal? They're a sim. They're not going to talk back. In fact, they don't even exist, so... No one's going to answer your question, Kayla. Um... Wow. No, what if we did these? Because the problem is these don't really come in the kinds of colors I want them to. Oh. They don't exist? No, well, this, these sims, I've not made any sims is what I mean. There are no sims who live here. Okay, that's nice. Um, maybe if we had a dresser. Oh, we can give these sims a dog. We can, we can decorate this house as if it's gonna have a dog. Um... I think anything seem kids like Hold on. Oh. Dan is still downloading clips, I'm being told. Sorry, I'm talking to him about his um progress on our highlight reel video. <laughs> it is gonna be an interesting one. We shall see. Um, 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 maybe like... Oh, I don't know. Are you and Dan married or dating? We're married. Um, we got married a couple years ago. That is one of the beauties of an international long distance relationship. Um, we got married a couple years ago uh, and then went through like a whole visa process so that Dan could live here. Um, it was a whole thing. <laughs> it took a long time and a lot of application stuff and all this, all this. It was a whole thing. Um, but anyway, years ago? Yeah, like two years ago. Um, we are going to apply for his, uh, so he has a, right now, a two year conditional green card and we have to apply to like, turn it into a 10 year green card uh, next month. This, almost this month, in a couple weeks, we just send the application out, so. <sighs> much to do, much to worry about, <laughs> much to think about. The process never ends, so. <laughs> that's what we're up to at the moment. Um, yeah, immigration stuff is a real headache, isn't it? Um, it's all right. Shouldn't be too bad. Um, as a fellow fiance visa green card holder, I get it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, so after he gets this 10 year green card in the next few years, he'll be able to be eligible for citizenship. So that's like the step after this. Um, so we will get there. Um, just take some time. Maybe I'll make this one orange too. I like the little, those are all different things. When's our anniversary? Our wedding anniversary is in August. Um, so coming up on two and a half years, which is weird. <laughs> um, very weird. No, he can't vote. He's only a, a permanent resident. Uh, voting is, is a, a citizen thing. Um, and because he's only a permanent resident, he cannot vote. Uh, when he eventually becomes a citizen someday, in a few years, he'll be able to vote, but um, not now. So, um, yeah, Wickham, I mean, we only got married at the courthouse. It was kind of, um, we, me and Dan would like to have like a 
like a wedding ceremony, wedding party like thing and still invite friends and family to it at some point in the next couple years, probably. I don't know. We're like vaguely discussing it at the time being. Um, but when we actually got married, we like went to the courthouse. It had to be quick because we had to get the paperwork filed. Like it was during COVID, so the borders were closed, so his family couldn't come. Like um, it wasn't really like anybody's ideal scenario. <laughs> um, so, but it's okay. It was nice. Um, it was nice. Yeah, I didn't say it was um, when when I went to go pick Dan up for him when he moved. I didn't tell people what day I was flying because I didn't want to be like I'm flying on this day because then you would be able to figure out what plane I was on. Um, so I didn't say what day I was flying to London, and then I just posted a picture on the Discord of me and Dan together, and that was kind of fun because obviously I hadn't seen him in a long time because the borders were closed from COVID, so that sucked. Um, <laughs> so that was a cool day, I guess. Um, anyway. That was a long time ago at this point, huh? Um, you're too stubborn to settle for a courthouse, courthouse marriage. You want the big party? Yeah, I get it. That wasn't really what I dreamed of either, but it was still a nice day. Um, and I guess like, I don't know, I, I, there's never like a time limit, I guess. You could always have the party like whenever you want, really. It's for you, so you can do whatever you want, <laughs> you know? Um, like, me and Dan are probably gonna be married for, like, four years before we have an actual wedding party. <laughs> but I don't really care what other people think about that. It's, I don't know, it's, like, my timeline. It's what I want to do, <laughs> so... I don't know. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, Raspberry, it's a weird one. People do some weird things. Um... <laughs> I've dealt with some kind of scary people, so I'm, I'm a little, uh, I guess I'm a little understandably wary and uh, nervous about stuff like that that maybe the average person wouldn't have to think about, but I don't know, I have good reason to be worried about it without getting into it too much. We don't need to discuss creepy people right now, but um, yeah, we've been through some weird stuff, so. Um, I've got good reason to be nervous of the, of the internet. Um, you never had a wedding? Yeah, that, that make, a lot of people don't. It's, it really just comes down to, you know, what you want and what you need also at that moment and stuff. Um, I don't know. I think that if me and Dan didn't have to go through the, the whole visa process, we wouldn't be married by now. I feel like, um, like COVID out the window and also like the international immigration stuff out the window, we'd probably be engaged right now, but I don't know if we'd be married yet. Um, but obviously, like, you know, we would eventually, <laughs> but, um, I, like, the timeline probably wouldn't have been as, like, urgent almost, I guess? Like, it's just different when you have a international long-distance situation going on, so. Um, so who knows what it would have been like <laughs> if this wasn't the case, but it is what it is, and I'm happy, so. Um. Okay, I don't know what wallpaper to put in this hallway. I might do the hallway last because I've been like doing all of these other kids rooms But not actually figuring out what the Like rooms down here are going to be like Um Did you have a tiny wedding in a cafe? Really? Yeah, me and Dan we um, we just went to the courthouse We went to like a vegan restaurant in Orlando with my parents and my sister afterward My brother wasn't even there because he had school. He had like an exam that day. So my brother didn't even come <laughs> I didn't, I didn't care like I he didn't really care either like it didn't matter to me if he was there like in the courthouse I don't really not affected by that um, but he was there like when we had dinner that night and stuff um, and we like had pizza at my parents house and cake that night and it was nice it was a nice day um, but you know I, I don't really need anything more than that at the time I still would like to have a like a proper wedding ceremony and wedding party though um, someday uh, I don't know what I want. Maybe I should furnish the living room first so I can get a feel for the vibes of like the color scheme and then we'll go from there. I kind of want it to be almost like a little colorful. No, I didn't change my last name. I don't really have any desire to change my last name ever. You guys, my last name, and no one believes me, I don't really care. My last name is literally Sims. Like, like I was born for this. <laughs> so I really, really have no desire to ever change my last name. I like my name, so 
Um, I don't really care to do that. Um, I like it. <laughs> it's my name. Um, yeah, and also it's kind of a hassle to change your name. So it's, uh, if you don't really care about it, I don't really see a, I don't feel a desire to, to bother. Um, you know what bothers me a lot? Me and Dan get letters all the time addressed to Mr. and Mrs. Dan Grenander. I know that's like the formal, correct way to address a letter formally. It's like I don't even exist. <laughs> it's like I'm not even there. Mrs. Dan Grenander. Hello. I have my own name. But that's like the, if you're going to like, like my grandma or like if people are going to like formally address a wedding invitation, they'll write it like that. I exist. I have a name. <laughs> That's such a like old traditional way of doing it, but we get letters like that a lot. <sighs> anyway, sad. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Man's name, come on. No, I have a name, I have a name. <laughs> You're saying his last name isn't Duck? Yeah, I mean, maybe you should change it to that. <laughs> Yeah, it's like my whole name is just gone. I don't even have a first name anymore. It's out of the, throw out the window. You don't even get a first name. Um, ooh, that doesn't match the, oh no, how about this? The ones from uh, the famous pack, Get Famous. I had to think for a second about that. Get famous. A lot of people, I mean, like, well, people will address address letters to, like, um, like, you know, the blanks, like, the last name, plural, um, which is fine. People don't know I didn't change my name, so I don't really care if they do that, but, um, it's when, it's the Mr. and Mrs. man's full name, where, like, my name gets completely thrown out is what bothers me. <laughs> Um, like that, that's where I, I get kind of like frustrated because if you're putting like Dan's first name, Mrs. Dan, come on. And that's like common. <sighs> I don't like this rug. Anyway, my grandma addresses letters like that to me. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, does Dan hate it too? Yeah, we always laugh about it when we get a letter like that. I also always get kind of frustrated when, um, I don't know, like, letters about the mortgage or, like, letters about the house. Anytime something like that gets sent to us and it gets only addressed to him, it always bothers me so much. But, like, so often, the things will, like, default, like, or people will default to, like, his name. Now, hold on for a second. Who do you think pays for this house? Mrs. Dan Grenander is who? <laughs> so, <laughs> so they always, when I get left off of these things, it's like, <laughs> I know it doesn't matter that much, but like, put my name on there. <laughs> I don't know what rug to use. I gotta stop thinking about it so much. Oh no. I'm not gonna use these parenthood counters either. Maybe I'll use this rug. Perhaps I'll just decide this one and we'll make it work. Yeah? Um, <laughs> did they sort out? Really? That's fun. Um, whenever I address things to couples, um, like straight couples, I guess, I always put the woman's name first. But I'll put their whole names. Um, <laughs> if I do it on purpose. Um, if you're widowed, the proper way to address an envelope is Mrs. Dead Husband Last Name. What? Like, you're supposed to still address it to the name of the dead, the dead husband, even if the husband is dead, and, like, technically the proper way is still to address it to them? So you still don't even get a name? <laughs> uh, I guess that doesn't surprise me that much. Um... Like, it kind of makes sense given how it works, but... <laughs> he 
He's dead and his, his name still matters more than yours. <laughs> that is rough. <sighs> yeah, that's a very old school, very traditional way of doing it, but... Um... Okay, how about... Um... Oh, no, 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 no. I don't like that. Well, what color should we use? Oh, how about, how about like that? Try and bring in some lighter wood colors in here. I think that's only an American thing. I, I think it's just an old thing. It's not, I mean, like, like I would never do that. You would never do that. It's like old people um, that would do that old traditional 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 stuff like like my grandmother in her 90s kind of situation like my parents wouldn't address it that way but like old school <laughs> um is kind of what we're talking about um okay i want to get i think some of the debug stuff from eco lifestyle um Oh, people in England do that too? Mm, yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I've received some letters like that too. Um, okay, why did I just search debug? I didn't mean to do that. What I wanted to get was... Did I type debug wrong? Eco lifestyle, there we go. I don't know. Both your grandmas didn't change their names. I think that's really cool, actually. Um, I think that's really, really cool. Especially like, I don't know how old your grandparents are, but like, especially at that time, that was probably like, I don't know where you're from either, but I get weird comments. The internet gives me weird comments about not changing my name. And these are like people my age <laughs> on the internet being like, what do you mean you didn't change your name? <laughs> so to like be significantly older than I am and then have people be like, I don't know, I think that's kind of cool. So, um, people are just weird and traditional about stuff like that. I think most people don't feel that way. There's just always like someone who's gonna be kind of weird and traditional and what do you mean, <laughs> you know? Um, they just can't really imagine it, so. Um, okay. I'm so glad you didn't change your name. It's so important for the Sims image. <laughs> the Sims needs this. <laughs> your dad took your mom's name. I think that's so cool. I've seen a lot of couples that do that or they'll like, um, I don't know, just find something that works for them. I've seen people try and like both, maybe like both hyphenate. I don't really have any interest in ever hyphenating my name though. I think it would be too long. Dan's last name is long. I like my last name only being four letters. It's nice, short. Um, I don't really want it to be long like that. I can't imagine like hyphenating it and having it be. Um, some people combine them, like make a new last name. It's kind of interesting what people do. Um, oh, you know what we did a while back? This is a totally different vibe. <laughs> Wait, do you remember? It was like two days ago in our Not So Berry Challenge. <laughs> we had a whole discussion about, um, where's the backyard stuff pack? We had a whole discussion about trying to use that rug or that chair with this color rug. <laughs> Cause I had done this in my Not So Berry save ages ago and then like forgot and hadn't used it again since. What if we tried to do something like this and use that chair? Let me figure out what color might work. Um, ooh, ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Guys, I don't know if I can do it. I think I'm a brave person, but I don't know if I'm that brave. I'm not a brave person. Why did I just say that? <laughs> what are you talking about, Kayla? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm not brave and I'm certainly not that brave. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I don't know what's going on today. 
Um, let me finish the kitchen. Once we have the kitchen stuff put in, it'll make a little bit more sense, too. Beautiful, stunning. Oh, I love that cabinet. That looks so good. Okay. You got a sub gift to Rochella? Oh, cool! That's fun! People in my chat have been discussing uh, Rochella's stream. It sounds like there's been a lot going on over there in the past few minutes. I've seen a lot of talk about it, so... Um, Tony is handing her tissues! <laughs> oh, good! She had like 300 sub gifts? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's cool. That's exciting. That means a bunch of people in chat would have gotten a sub as well. Shella has some pretty cool emotes. Um, can we get some Rish smiles in the chat, please? <laughs> anybody? 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 Um, okay. Put that there. Um, there you go. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, maybe we could get- oh, 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 you know that thingy? Wait. It's like a little chef, but he's a pig. I'm sorry for yawning. Chef pig. Chef pig. If I search pig... No. Chef. No. Anybody know where the chef pig is? Any ideas? I'm trying to figure out, it's like... Yeah, it's base game, but, oh, here he is. I couldn't remember what his name was. So, there we go, that's nice. Cute, if you're looking for him, search pork with a C. <laughs> that is the way. Okay, so I was gonna give these Sims a dog as well. I kind of like how this is turning out. Such a specific item. Can I say something? I remember this item vividly because of many years ago in Life Simmer's first ever Sims 4 Let's Play. Um, so like the first ever Sims 4 gameplay I ever watched was Life Simmer playing The Sims 4. And I remember she put that in her kitchen and I thought it was really cool. So whenever I see it, I think of Life Simmer and her original Sims 4 Let's Play. <laughs> so, <laughs> that might be a niche reference, but <laughs> that's my association with it. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, she streams on Twitch now. Um, she's really nice. Uh, she was very nice to me when I met her. I think I only met her once, um, but it was at a an event for City Living. This is like years ago at this point, obviously. It was back when City Living first came out. And I got invited to go and play City Living early at, at EA. Um, and I didn't know anybody. I was 17 years old, a child, and I was so scared. I was absolutely terrified, so nervous about going to this event because I didn't know anyone and I was so worried about it. Um, and she was really nice to me and she hung out with me the whole time and I was very grateful for her at the time um, and for like her kindness to me when I was so scared. Um, and I'll never forget that, so. <laughs> uh, that was very kind of her. Okay, oops. I didn't have to delete this one. I don't want to use the brown. I do want to use a color. I'm tempted to try and use the green, actually. Is that too much green or does it look cute? I don't know. I don't know. Tony keeps bringing Shella random things for her to hold. Really? <laughs> Tony is a very chaotic person. Tony is my friend Rochella's husband. Um, he's funny, I like him. <laughs> He is a silly, uh, silly person. Should we use these little chairs? Maybe? It definitely stands out. Does it match the rest though? Okay, so it's The Sims 4, so nothing's gonna match perfectly. We kind of have to get that out of our heads. <laughs> if we're gonna play The Sims 4, we have to accept the fact that 
it's not gonna be perfect. Um, we have to make do with what we've got to work with, unfortunately. Um, he brought her a potato, an egg, and a stick of butter. <laughs> oh, Tony, he's so weird. That's funny. Um, furnish them all differently? Yeah, we have been. We're not gonna furnish the last one. And we also, we furnish, there's, this one's like for vampires. There's a couple basement apartments too. Um, we've been trying to make them all sort of different. Holding out hope for a curtain kit or a stuff pack. I agree, I would like that. That is my dream personally. Um, this went from I want it to be colorful in here to not so colorful. Yeah, it really did. I don't know how that happened, but oh well. I've done some pretty bright colors in some of the neighboring ones, so we can have this one have some more neutrals. I don't think that's a bad thing. It'll be okay. Yeah, I kind of like the green accents too. I don't know. Maybe they can have this. <laughs> that's almost like an accent color. Okay, so they have some- oh, that's floating, sorry. That's like some storage cabinets in the kitchen. I'll leave this counter open so they can actually cook in there. Let me pick a different color for this. Use the base game fuchsia, you have a pass. Yeah, I was so brave. Look at this couch color I used. That was really bold. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll do a tour for you at the end, don't worry. I, I always try to. So I'll do that today too. Um, we just gotta get this place furnished first. This has been such a ginormous build. It's taken us ages. Oops. They wouldn't have toothpaste down here. This is just a downstairs bathroom. I'm overthinking it. Kayla, get it together. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter if they would have toothpaste down here or not. It's really fine. Maybe I'll give them this. I really like that item. Can anyone else see the little triangle in the left corner? Left corner of where? The build? My screen? I don't know. You're lazy and you do have toothpaste downstairs? Maybe you have the right idea. Maybe that's a good idea. Um, that makes sense, Christine. You can put toothpaste wherever you want, see? C of my screen, tiny triangle in the corner of my, I'm trying to look at my OBS. I don't see anything. Oh, my hair is bothering me so much. Okay. Okay. Is it the house icon? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Now you see it. What does it mean? Who's where? Is it Twitch? Or is there people playing a prank on me? <laughs> oh, I can show you the tragic clown furnishings. This is the clown bedroom for the toddler. I kind of liked it. Top left. Okay, I don't- there's not a black corner in the- It must be Twitch. It must be Twitch. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I don't see one. Maybe it's only some people's screens then, and it's Twitch? Because I don't see it. I don't see it on my... It's only on your screen. Saw it a couple days ago too. Oh, weird. Maybe it's a Twitch problem then. Middle top? Okay, it must be- it must be a Twitch thing. Because I have no idea what you're all talking about. I don't have a single clue what we're talking about right now. Um, mystery triangle, I guess. Oh, you know what we should get? Because this is supposed to be like a family's house. What if we gave them, um, you know that little tiny basket of toys? Let's put this in here so the kids can have some toys down here. And maybe I'll give them a couple actual toys too. They don't have a baby. We can do that. Um, okay. That seems good to me. What do we put across this? We were thinking about giving these sims a dog. Maybe? We need to get a dog food bowl somewhere then. 
Um, I only see it in full screen. Oh, that's weird. I wonder what it, what it is then. Landscape on mobile? Oh. Oh, globe bar is an idea too. Maybe we can put the globe bar in the dining room. Because I'm thinking... Ooh, I wasn't picturing this originally, but maybe we could use like dog shelf by the front door. <laughs> and then, oh, we have to furnish the whole outside still too. Oh God. We haven't done anybody's patios yet. I, d I think it's a bug, Rachel. This has become like a whole thing. <laughs> it's become a whole thing and people are discussing a, a bug that I don't even know what they're talking about because I've never seen it, so. We don't need to, we don't need to go on about it too much more, okay? Because I, I don't, I don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> and it's become a whole thing and it, I really don't want it to be, so. Okay, I am, yeah, I am gonna finish it today. I, I feel extremely, extremely dedicated to finishing this today because if I don't, then I'm not gonna finish it until next year and that's just not... That's no good. That is no good. Steal this thing. Um, okay. Maybe I'll put a plant on this. How much longer will we live for? I don't know, we have to furnish the rest of the downstairs, fix the bathrooms, and then do the primary bedroom, and then all of the backyard! Oh my god. Remember when I said yesterday I was gonna work on the other townhouses, the Oasis Springs ones, too, today? Well, how did that turn out for you, Kayla? <laughs> mm, what was that about, about that, Kayla? No, no. No, no, no. No, we'll get through it, it'll be okay. It's not gonna be too bad. We have a vision, so. It'll be fine. We were maybe being slightly ambitious there with this task, but that's okay too. Oh, a video game console could be cool. I think I've been building kind of slow today, just in general as well. But we've been talking, we've had much to, to, to discuss. It's really important, so. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So I am gonna be here. We are gonna be live tomorrow. I don't wanna work on this build tomorrow though. That's the only thing. I'm gonna be live until midnight tomorrow. I was planning on doing like a New Year's Eve. The past like many years I've streamed on New Year's Eve um, and we've done like a little New Year's Eve countdown thing. So if you don't have any plans tomorrow and you're looking for something to do, um, we will be here playing Sims together if you wanted to come by. So, yeah, I was thinking about playing some 100 Baby. I might try and do a couple things, but I was thinking about playing a little bit of the baby challenge tomorrow. Um, and then maybe, I don't know, doing some building or something. We'll see how it goes. Let's get a dog bed. Um, I'm thinking maybe the dog bed could go like in the corner or something. But yeah, we'll be here for a while tomorrow night. Oh, that takes up all the space. <laughs> That's no good. It could be small. Small dog bed. Minty colored dog bed. Stand there with you. Um, he'll be streaming tomorrow too. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna stream until midnight though. So he might hang out with us a little bit towards the end of our stream. Um, I don't know what his plan is exactly. I think he's intimidated by the thought of streaming until midnight, so I don't know if he wants to do that, but I'll be here. I'll be here. Doodles, Ariel, and Ada, thank you for the subs, by the way. Um, oh, saving the game. Oh, is he there with me tonight? Like, is he here at home? Yeah. He's editing right now. Um, he's editing my highlight reel for 2020. Three. Um, he's trying to get clips and it takes a long time because, you know, it's a lot of clips <laughs> over a very long period of time. <laughs> so, um, okay, maybe if we did like, oh, I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to use this yellow color, but we don't really have a lot of that anywhere else. Somehow it kind of matches though. It almost matches the, um, the color of the wood somehow. 
I would say. I wonder how many clips are yours. Christine, I think that a lot of the clips are yours. I, I almost would say that, like, maybe even most of the clips are, are ones that you have made. <laughs> that, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, you just clip a lot. <laughs> so... Uh, okay, Dream Home Decorator stuff again. I haven't watched it yet, so I'm kind of excited to see it, but... Oh, really? Abby, that's so cool, actually. That's really fun. Well, tell her I said hi. I want to see the bookshelf. Did he include the clip where I said I would reset the baby challenge if I hit a specific charity goal? Oh, I don't know. I'll have to see. Um, does anybody have the link to that clip? Because <laughs> I can find out. And I can send it to him right now so that we make sure he includes it. <laughs> Um, you've shared it. Have you put that one in the, in the Discord server? Is it like linked in the Discord? Because if it is, then he's been going through the entire Discord server. Let me send in this one too, just in, just in case. Um, okay. Um, he probably had it already, but just, just to be safe, we'll send it too. It's not mine, but I have it saved in my folder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, instead of restarting, so you just go to 120. Well, that's, I mean, that was like not so much my idea. Um, that was like a chat, a group decision. Cause I said originally, like I jokingly said, sure, I'll restart if we hit $500,000 raised for St. Jude, thinking we wouldn't do that. Cause that's a ridiculous number. And that was reasonable of me to assume that we wouldn't do that. And then we did do that. Um, so I said I had to restart and then the chat was like, oh my god Please, please no, please no um, And then we decided as a group instead of completely restarting Maybe we could just uh, Like like we already had like 24 babies. We'll just go to a 124 babies um, So Anyway now he's saying he did download it, but he's not sure if he's going to include it in the video because he doesn't know how it'll fit in. <laughs> Is the news about the baby challenge clip, so. Hi, Tony. Thanks for the 32 months. And Laura and Faithy and Moo, thank you for the subs. I don't know what the video is looking like right now, but I'll trust his judgment on that one, too. Oh, the Peppa Pig England tour and the, like, in memoriam thing? No, that was too much. <laughs> that was too much. When we play the Peppa Pig game, listen to this, you guys. If you weren't there, this is gonna, like, take you out. So we're playing the Peppa Pig game, right? And the Peppa Pig game, she- the- the theme is that Peppa Pig is on, like, a world tour, all right? She only goes to, like, four places, so... World tour is kind of a strange way of describing this thing, but Peppa Pig's on a world tour, all right? And there's a section where you go to London, and you, like, knock on Buckingham Palace's door, and the Queen's like, Oh! I'll give you a tour! And, you know, she's talking all annoying, and then she gives you a little tour on a double-decker bus, and she, first of all, drives straight off a bridge, okay? In a double-decker bus. And then, that was too much for me already. And then, at the end of this England section, we're, like, jumping in puddles with the Queen, okay? <laughs> and then it fades to black, and then it pops up in memoriam. Queen Elizabeth II, <laughs> and it had a picture of the queen as Peppa Pig, like a pig queen. <laughs> and they said in the, and so that just made me like burst out laughing because they had to acknowledge the queen's death in the Peppa Pig game. And then at the very end of the game, and like as the credits are rolling, it's like, during the production of, of the Peppa Pig World Adventures game, our beloved queen passed away. <laughs> and we determined, uh, like, to honor her, we would move forward with the storyline and, and keep her in the game. <laughs> what? And they had to do, like, an in memoriam again at the end. Oh, it was too much. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> oh my god. How <laughs> Wait, watch, 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 hold on. We have to look at it together. I forgot I was wearing that. How much of this do I have to do? 
jump in the puddle. Come on, Lizzie, come on. <gasps> wow, the Queen is very good at jumping in puddles. We all are. That's the spirit. Everybody jump. Splash, splash, splash. <laughs> what a jolly good time everyone is having jolly in puddles. Well done for completing our whistle stop tour around London. seen it coming. This is the second one. Hold on. I forget what happens in this one. Oh, this is the end of the whole game. We finally finished the entire game, okay? We've seen and learned so much. I do yep. hope you'll come back and do it again soon. Goodbye. Well. Oh! reading it like what is this <laughs> as we came to the final stages of development for peppa pig world adventures on september 8th 2022 her majesty queen elizabeth ii sadly passed away <laughs> to honor her legacy and the joy she brought to peppa pig fans is what that says the joy she brought to peppa pig fans What? <laughs> oh, anyway, this was, I really, this, I loved that game. It was some of the most fun I've ever had doing that. <laughs> to honor her legacy, we made Peppa, we made the queen in a pig game and had her jump in puddles and jump off a bridge, like with a bus, not jump off, drive off. The, the bus went woo on the other side of the bridge. I don't know if Christine has the bridge clip. If she does, we can show it to you. Okay, let me get some shoes. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Sorry. Well, we really must be getting on with the tour, I'm afraid. We can't sit around waiting for the day. Lizzie! Lizzie! Oh my god! We are stuck. <gasps> I know. Everyone <gasps> move to the front of the bus. What? Move. This is a children's game. Chip on the way. Oh, so there is. Well, we really must be getting on with the tour, I'm afraid. We can't sit around waiting for ships all day. <gasps> Lizzie! Lizzie! <gasps> and then she dies. <laughs> In a puddle. Apparently. Oh my god. Anyway, worst game I ever played in my entire life, but it did make me laugh a little bit. I'll give them that. <laughs> we like barely make it. And then in the game, you have to like walk all of your characters over so that the bus tips and doesn't fall off the bridge. Don't worry, that'll be in the, the highlight reel. It will be. We can't not include that. That's a necessity. So, what did you come back to? Oh, <laughs> we were talking about Peppa Pig. So, yeah, welcome back to the stream. <laughs> you received a Peppa Pig candle today? What? Oh, the highlight reel could end up being really long. This is the problem. Like, there, there, it's hard to cut down what you want to, I don't know, include in a video like that, because there's so many things and so many clips, and some of them are kind of long, so. But Peppa Pig is an obvious choice. You can't not include Peppa. That's, that's a definite yes, I believe. Okay, um, 
Yikes. No. I would watch it no matter what. <laughs> I think it's funny to look back on that sort of stuff. I'm glad that we all agree. Yeah, I'll be here tomorrow on New Year's Eve. I will be here tomorrow on New Year's Eve. Mod Rickroll streamer not clickbait. What's that? It's everywhere. This is last year. Not just us. That is a Twitch problem and an annoying one. <laughs> yeah, it lets you post a link. See, I can see Shan. Oh my God, Shan just Rickrolled me. <laughs> anyway, thanks Marissa for that one. I actually fell for that. I don't normally do. Can you make a build of Peppa's home? We talked about doing that again, didn't we? Oh, did you? Oh, good. You like the pig accessories I wore? Would you believe me if I told you I have more than one? I bought a second set. Cause I thought that I had lost them in the move and then I found them after it was already too late and I had bought a second set of pig accessories. So then I had two sets of pig accessories. So that's nice. Okay, I'm gonna give them like a bunch of family photos on this wall. I think that'll be good for like the family inspired home. That's cute. Maybe I'll give them a pig. No, no, no. I want the pig decoration. I always forget what it's called. We put a pig downstairs already. Look. <laughs> Look, okay, that's a bunny. This one's the pig. I don't think I've ever tried to specifically build Peppa's house in The Sims. We've built like, I built a Peppa Pig themed restaurant once. It was, it was Potato City themed, technically, um, but we did do that once, so. Grab that too. Um, do we need anything else in this hallway? The gross potato restaurant? Yeah, that was the one. <laughs> it wasn't, it was like a, it looked pretty fancy and like nice from the outside. And then on, in the kitchen, it was like disgusting. It's basically what I built. So, okay, that's a lovely hallway. We have that room already. We do have to fix these bathrooms. How did the whole Peppa Pig thing start? I... I don't know. That's a really good question. I don't actually have an answer to that. Oh, no, you know what it was? One of Dan's mods showed Dan the Peppa Pig game and then, and then Dan bought it for me for Christmas. And then I showed chat and then I used, I used the game as a charity incentive. And after we like talked about the game once, all of a sudden, I swear to you, it was like Peppa Pig took over everybody's lives. Peppa Pig was all of a sudden everywhere. She even showed up at Eurovision this year. So it's, it sort of, it all stemmed from, from that, the game being given to me as a gift, but then it devolved. <laughs> yeah, Cole, do you remember? This happens a lot where like, I don't remember something and then I ask chat and they're like, no, Kayla, it was this. It was on January 7th, 2021, when you said these exact words <laughs> and they remember and I don't. <laughs> but remember Peppa at Eurovision? She actually jump scared everybody. When that happened, do you imagine how many tweets I got that day? And like how many people came into the Discord and into the Twitch chat being like, you will never believe what happened. <laughs> Because they had like giant Peppa Pig in a costume in the in the audience at Eurovision. So I sent you a Peppa Pig family set to your PO box. I know. <laughs> There's so many pig things. I'm telling you guys, Peppa Pig has taken over my life. <laughs> She's everywhere. It's horrible. And now people, they'll be like at the store and they'll see like a Peppa Pig item and then send me a picture of it. Mm. 
What did I do to deserve this? I always take pictures of Peppa stuff now. Yeah, see, she's taken over. It's not even just me. She's like infected your life too. Okay, let's see what bed will make the most sense for up here. Do you wanna try that one? No. Do you wanna try that one? Do you think we can make those match? I think we can try. Oh, because Dan bought me the dumb game. I know, seriously. Now we've played two Peppa Pig games on stream. Like, so cursed. Oh, this is supposed to be a... Oh, this whole wall's supposed to be brick. Did I paint that by accident? That actually looks better now. Okay, good. Vintage glamour in the bed set for my squeers match really well. Oh, let's try and use some vintage glamour then. Vintage glamour. Did you guys see that Katy Perry is is playing a character in a new Peppa Pig like movie or something? I you can, actually can't make this up. I'm I'm being so serious right now. They've got Katy Perry voicing a character in the new film, which is such a weird crossover event because obviously Katy Perry has the greatest Sims pack of all time, Katy Perry Sweet Treats. And now and now Katy Perry is going to be in Peppa Pig too. <laughs> yes, Katy Perry from Sweet Treats, the one the only Katy Perry of Sweet Treats fame. <laughs> You know, we all know her from Sweet Treats. I think she's playing like a, a famous singer in Peppa Pig. You actually can't make this stuff up. Why did I think Katy Perry had beef with Peppa Pig? Oh, maybe she does and she's trying to like squash it. Katie has a kid, right? We the the theory was that maybe Katie's kid likes Peppa Pig, and that's why she said yes to it. Adele has beef with Peppa Pig. Oh, okay. I don't know. Interesting. Katy Perry has a kid. Sorry, what? I think so. Yeah, she's three. Daisy Dove. Ooh, I like that. Daisy Dove. That's a nice name. Okay. You go, Katie, I guess. That's pretty. I always wanted, I always liked the name Daisy, but because I wanted to name a bearded dragon Daisy. Like, the, that's actually better, this bed. The vision was to have a bearded dragon and call it Daisy, but I don't think I'm ever going to get a bearded dragon. I really like them though. My sister has one and I think he's the coolest thing in the entire world, but I don't think that I personally should have a bearded dragon. At least not right now. So, how's Nova doing? Nova's good. He's so cool. Bearded dragons are so cool. like the kittens would not like it. I don't know. My parents' cats don't care about Nova. Um, no one cares about, like, the dogs aren't interested in Nova. The cats aren't interested in Nova, so. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think they would actually probably be okay. Nova is my sister's bearded dragon, sorry. No, it doesn't roam around the house. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. He has like a, he has his own house, <laughs> but like the cats don't really watch him or anything. Like they, his house is in the living room. Cause the bearded dragon used to live in my bedroom. It's not a house. It's like a tank, <laughs> but I like to call it a house. It used to be in my bedroom. They basically replaced me with a lizard. But then when my parents brought the kittens home, um, like uh, Frankie, the baby's mom, and then Sam, um, the other sibling, um, they moved the, the lizard so that way they could lock the kittens in my bedroom at first so they could like acclimate to the new house and they didn't want him to, them to be locked in the room with the lizard. Um, and actually everyone likes him being in the living room. So now he's in the living room. 
So. I, I did. I got replaced with a lizard. It's okay. I sort of accepted it at this point. It doesn't hurt too bad anymore. Um. <laughs> Shanna had the lizard before I moved out. I don't remember when she got him, but it was maybe like six or seven years ago at this point. I'd have to ask her how old he is. I don't remember exactly, um, but she had him even before I moved out. She's had him for a bit. You know what we could try and do? And what might actually work? You know how we were looking earlier today at that chair with the flowers on it? That kind of fits in here. How big is he? Um, I'm not an accurate source for this. Maybe about yay big. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. He's big-ish. They're usually like around a foot long-ish, right? So he's, I don't know. I, could, I couldn't tell you exactly. I don't know. He's big though. Um, did he always live in my room? No, he was in my sister's room before I moved out. Um, but he, then he had like, there was more space for like him. Once I wasn't living there, he had like a way better setup in my room. And now his living room setup is actually pretty nice. It's way bigger now. So like, well, his tank is the same, but like he has like a nice big table. So it's easier. So, um, okay. Do I have pics of him? I don't know. I think, um, let me see if I have some good ones because when we did that calendar, the merch calendar, it was like we did it with all the pets. And do I have it in here? Wait, let me see. Oh yeah, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There will be a picture of him either on my shoulder or my mom's shoulder, I don't remember. Oh. Pogi. He's the one that just passed away. Um, anyway, sorry. Oh yeah, look. Wait. So this is like a weird picture to show you. It's a physical picture, but that's him. Legend, truly. Isn't he cool? He's quite big, so. <laughs> that's me and my mom and the lizard. <laughs> um, I like him. Show you the whole calendar. Oh, I can show you some of the other good ones in this. I personally liked um, this picture the best. I think that is really cute. So, <laughs> um, that's one of my favorites. Um, he has a little, he was the Easter Bunny. <laughs> okay, uh, what should I put on this? Maybe like a set of flowers or something? The food creeps you out? Yeah, having to feed them live bugs kind of creeps me out too. I have, uh, I have lizard sat for my sister a handful of times now. Um, and, uh, I do not like having to feed him worms. I gotta be honest. I also had to go to the store and buy him crickets m once myself. Um, and that was a really unpleasant experience actually. <laughs> I didn't like it. <laughs> you had to go to the store and literally like go to the, the, the pet store and be like, hello, can I have some crickets? And then they like scoop and then give you, a, I had like a bag of crickets in my car and I brought them to the lizard. It was a whole thing, yeah. Um, so that, I actually really did not like that. That was not fun for me. <laughs> Solidly, uh, unpleasant experience. It was easier than I thought it would be. I don't know. They had them on like a, I don't know. I guess they had like a big, they had a big thing of crickets and then they had them on like a little, the crickets were all kind of hanging out on like basically like an egg carton type of thing but like it was all cardboard, but egg carton shaped sort of. And they put it in the bag and then, no, they're live crickets. And then Nova eats them. So. Yeah, he, he like sticks his tongue out and grabs them and he eats them. You worked at PetSmart and you had to scoop them. Uh... 
Yeah, it makes me feel kind of weird and like uncomfortable and bad for the crickets. I don't know. But also, yeah, yeah. it's the circle of life, I guess. He has to eat too, so it's just unpleasant. The crickets are also really not smart. Sometimes they'll sit on his head. And he doesn't really react to that, but it's like, I mean, maybe it is smart because if they're on your, if, if you're on his head, he can't reach you. But sometimes they'll like sit on him. <laughs> So, <laughs> I don't know. This makes you feel sad. Yeah, it's a weird, it's a weird one. Um, I'm sorry for talking about it. <laughs> it just feels weird. Um, okay. Um, anyway. Yeah, I know. I feel, I guess, like, I... I guess maybe I just feel weird because I, I personally have this, like, I don't eat meat. I, like, don't want to, I don't even kill bugs in my house. Like, I, I don't know. I have this weird, all this weird stuff about it. Um, so it feels, like, really unnatural and wrong for me to, like, purchase crickets and then, like, feed them to something. But I know he has to eat and I've, I buy, you know, food for my cats that has meat in it. But it, I, it just feels different when it's, like, canned cat food versus a live bug, you know? Um, okay, so we finished all the inside. I'll give you a tour in a minute. Quick, I want to try to work on the backyards because um, I want to get some of this added in before I forget. I think I'm going to have these people have like more of a yard yard compared to their neighbors. Because um, I want to have like maybe some monkey bars or something for them. I like that idea. Um... Okay. Cute. Yes? You got a lizard? No, I don't have a lizard. My sister has a bearded dragon and she has for a long time. Um, so we're discussing my sister's lizard, not mine. <laughs> I did not get one. <laughs> but I have helped take care of him sometimes when she's been gone, so. I go over to their house and I lizard sit. <laughs> such a weird way of describing it, but um, I take care of him sometimes. Um, okay, let's see. I want to get a little bit of terrain paint there. I'll probably get a little bit underneath here too. Um, oh, Stardew, I'm so happy for you. Happy birthday, by the way, friend. Oh, geez, that's way too dark. Sorry. I'm glad you could hang out a little bit. Um, let's see. See. Cute. Maybe I will give them their own trash can just to make it easier. Hope they add snakes and lizards to the Sims 4. I wish that we had more um, like small pets like that. Because um, you know how the Sims 3 had like you could get a pet bird, you could get pet turtles, you could get all kinds of stuff. I wish that we had more stuff like that in the Sims 4. I think that would be cool. We have rats. What they need to do is make my second pet stuff and and give us... <laughs> they need to make my second pet stuff and give us a bunch of other small animals. <laughs> is having cake for dinner acceptable? Yeah, I think so. Do what you need to do. Make whatever you want. Kayla, no. <laughs> Why not? Wouldn't it be good though? DLC for DLC for DLC. <laughs> there's like, there's like three layers to it. <laughs> That's horrible. Okay, this one, um, maybe these people could have the hot tub. I don't know. Guys, can I tell you a secret? I don't think that I like cake that much. This hot tub looks bad. I don't know, it's just not for me. I don't think I've ever been a big cake person. But you also don't like pie? Yeah, I know. Cake would never be my like dessert of choice, you know? Like I'll eat cake if it's around and we, we're, we're having cake, but I, I would never like, if I had to pick a dessert, I would not pick cake. 
I like brownies. I think brownies are my pick. I like to make cake. <laughs> I've had a lot of fun baking cake. I've been trying to get better at like decorating cakes. So um, I enjoy that, but I don't think that um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't choose to eat it probably. Um, okay. So what else are we going to add for this? I don't even know. Um, ooh, I don't know. Are those lounge chairs too much? Maybe I should do a dining table instead. Oh, dining tables may be better. Ooh, it can be in that dark blue color too. That's okay. Yeah. Um, what is going on right now? <laughs> um, I've seen two, we have to address it because I've seen two things about it. Um, just so you guys know, um, uh, we do not support JK Rowling here. And we also uh, try not to talk about her too much just for like the sake of not wanting to, um, I don't know, we don't want to cause like upset to people by bringing her up. Um, so anyway, we try to avoid this discussion. I don't know why it got brought up twice just then, but um, anyway, we try to just, uh, she sucks. So we don't need to think about her. There's no need to dedicate energy to that woman. So um, back to cake though for a second. <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> um, yeah, I might, maybe I'll make brownies tonight. Ooh, maybe we should make brownies tonight. I think I might actually do that. That will maybe be kind of fun. Let's talk about why you don't like cake. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have an answer to that, actually. I don't know. It's just not my preference, I guess. Maybe that's it. Okay, so this one, we have a hot tub, we have a dining table. There's like some playground equipment on this one. What else do you guys think we should add? Like, what should the third one's yard be like? Should we do a fire pit? Hmm. Did I watch Canada's Drag Race? No, I didn't watch, I didn't watch uh, Canada Drag Race. Me and Dan have been watching some old seasons of UK Drag Race recently. Um, Cause we had never seen UK Drag Race before. So we've been trying to watch some older seasons of it. So that's what we've been up to. I don't like the three wide ones. Let me look at seasons. Um, they have like kind of that blue and purple vibe going on inside the house. Maybe I'll use that. Do you think the toddler fairy lights will fit? Is this the right width or is it too skinny? <gasps> oh my God. Okay. That is absolutely perfect. Amazing, perfect. Could not have gone better. Exactly what we needed out of this. That's so good. Oh, brownies won the dessert poll? Brownies, cookies, cake, pie, and other interesting. I'm surprised by that actually. Dan doesn't like brownies that much. This is such a red flag. I know, but Dan doesn't like brownies that much because he doesn't like chocolate desserts. He, I mean, he likes them, but it like wouldn't be his choice. Sometimes when we make chocolate chip cookies, we have to split the dough so he can put white chocolate chips in it instead of regular, like I like dark chocolate chips, but he will split it so he can have white chocolate chips in his. I hate white chocolate. I think it's nasty. I would never do that. I know, red flag. <laughs> Respectfully, what? Right? I don't like white chocolate at all. I think it's gross. You like it, really? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I've never liked white chocolate. I've never really. 
eating it because I don't like it. He likes slimy apple pie too. Yeah, he likes weird, slimy, gross apple pie as well. Um, should I give him a chess table maybe? Oh, I don't know. Do they have, there's two, ki oh, there's like two teens who live here. What should I put for them outside? Oh, let's give them a grill. I don't know why I didn't give them a grill sooner. They probably should have a grill, huh? That might be nice. They can have a grill and then maybe like, they'll just sit here to eat. I don't know. Telescope? Oh, that's fun. Let's put a telescope too. <laughs> I'll put that right here. That's nice. American chocolate is bad. Okay, I mean, that's that's kind of like part of Dan's thing too, but it, that's not so much the problem. Dan mostly just doesn't like, um, he just doesn't like dark chocolate really. Um, so like a semi-sweet chocolate chunk that you might include in a, um, in a chocolate chip cookie recipe, or if you're me, you know, like dark chocolate chunks that you might include in a chocolate chip cookie recipe because you like dark chocolate. Um, he doesn't really like it, so. Marbles, hopscotch, oh, oh my gosh. What if we gave them hopscotch on this yard? Or we could put hopscotch like over here on the side of the building, just so we can have some more stuff taking up space. That might be good. Right? Dark chocolate bad, white chocolate best. <laughs> we started a war here. Really com uh, complicated opinions in the chat about this one. Um, okay, I think backyard stuff is what I'm looking for right now. We'll get a couple of those little chairs. Maybe they could also have in this person's backyard no one even lives here, so I'm kind of trying to decorate the backyard of this one simple on purpose, because it's empty. So. Oh, there's a pole. <laughs> Fogs! Fobby, redhead, redheader, thank you for the subs. Okay, um, so let me show you around the place really quick, and then we can find any last minute details we have to add in. I went- I was live way longer than I thought I was going to be, so oops. Oops, oops, oops. Um, but uh, here's the outside. It's kind of like inspired by those like New York brownstones. Oh, you know what I was going to do is give them all different welcome mats too. I almost forgot to do that. Um, so there's in total four little apartments, um, big, there's four big <laughs> uh, townhouses on the like ground floor and they're all three stories. And then in the basement, there is two basement apartments. That's why we have these window wells. So I'll show you those in a minute, but this is what the outside looks like. Um, there's kind of like a city street. Um, around the side, there's a fire escape. And then this is how you access those basement apartments. We have like the mailbox down here. Um, down this way, there's some trash cans. And then we have the big hallway. Um, and when you come in, there's shared laundry down here. Oh, which reminds me, wait, I didn't put hampers in this apartment. <laughs> I almost forgot, everybody else has hampers. The, this sim doesn't have one in their bedroom. But most everybody else has one. Oh, this sim didn't get a hamper either. Oops. I think we have a hamper. Oh my god, there isn't even a hamper up here. What is wrong with me? Hamper there. Hamper there. They don't get one in this room. You only need to have one. What's a hamper? Oh, it's a, it's where you put your dirty clothes. We can give one to the toddlers. Um, anyway, so in the basement, there's shared laundry. Um, these are all like storage units. They're like supposed to be assigned to every um, apartment separately, which we're gonna have to go through and do now, which is gonna be so annoying. Um, what the heck? Why can't I assign them? Why, why isn't it popping up? Residential rental. 
There we go. Um, anyway, we had it set before. Um, these are these are storage units. They're storage units. Nothing creepy. It's supposed to be storage units. Um, but everybody has one is kind of the idea. Um, and then they have a shared gym down here in the basement as well. Um, I have saved. I'll save again though, just to be safe. <laughs> just to be safe. Come on, game. Anyway, downstairs there's two basement apartments is kind of the idea. One of them is like for a couple of roommates and the other one is for a vampire that has a baby. <laughs> um, so we have those down here. This is annoying because I did this already like yesterday, but we're doing it again um, now that I finished it because I didn't want to build it as a rental. Oh my God. Here we go. Oh, it almost crashed just then. Okay. Anyway, there's their basement shared gym. This is the first apartment. Um, it's it's kind of cute and like pink and green down here. And then there's like two rooms for two roommates. And then this is that vampire apartment. <laughs> totally different vibe in here, um, but kind of like vampire-y inspired. Um, and they're both in the basement. So they have these window wells. So they have a little bit of natural light. You can see the window wells up here. Um, and then on this side, this one will be unit number one, technically. Uh, this is one we just did. It's kind of like a family unit. So they have a dining room here, big kitchen, and this is their living room. All the units kind of have like similar layouts, if I'm being honest. Um, why is that numbered that way? One, the old salt house. Anyway, um, so they have this little downstairs space. Upstairs, they have like a little hall. No, that's number one, too. Oh my god. Upstairs, we have like a little hallway. They have a couple of bathrooms up here and then like two kids' rooms for two kids in each. I didn't put a toddler potty up here, so I probably should add that, too. Maybe like a toddler potty and also a high chair downstairs or something. Might be kind of nice. Yeah, we're still live because it's taking me ages to finish this build. <laughs> After this, we should do some nice, small builds. We could use a couple small builds, probably. There's a toddler potty for them. Oh my god, lag. Where's the high chairs? Um, I'll just give them, like, one in the corner. There you go. Tiny home era, you know? <laughs> Anyway, so there's the upstairs, and then on the third floor, there's kind of like this cool stair landing um, that we've made into a playroom for the kids. Um, and then there's also a primary bedroom on this third floor, which is kind of cool. Um, they have a little ensuite bathroom as well. Um, and all of the houses have the same layout. They're just furnished a little bit differently. So when we come next door, this one has like the same thing, dining room and the entrance. Um, they have like a little half bath here. Um, tiny home community. I That would be kind of fun to do actually, like a whole bunch of tiny homes. I like that. Uh, I like the color scheme of this one best. I based it off of this rug. It's kind of funky and I kind of like it for that reason. Um, we built a trailer park. Yeah, we built like kind of a fancy trailer park um, when the pack first came out. We did something like that. We kind of, the joke was that we were gonna make Johnny Zest a landlord. So, ooh, wrong apartment. Um, anyway, so upstairs, this one, I kind of pictured this being like maybe a teenager's bedroom. Um, so they have this little room here. There's a couple bathrooms on this floor. And then there's also a kid's bedroom up here, which I'll show you. It's just being kind of slow. This is the kid's bedroom. I liked the, the My First Pet Stuff things in here. <laughs> you don't often get to use it. Um, so... It's, it's fun to put my first pet stuff things around. The first unit wasn't assigned. Are you sure? Oh, I didn't assign this room. Oh my goodness. That's why we gotta be slow going through it. Anyway, up here, they have like a games room in their lofted area. Um, and these people have a cat. So there's a bunch of cat stuff in their house um, as well. Because of earlier, you asked your roommate if you can go get cake. Nice. <laughs> very, very, very nice. Oh god, messed up. What is that? How did I move a window? What's happening? I'm scared. <laughs> 
<laughs> it gets so laggy when you try to do this. Um, the the backyards aren't set as rooms, so I don't have to assign the backyards to. If you play here, you just, you just have to lock the doors to the backyard. Um, because they're not technically rooms in game. That was like a weird... The window moved itself. We'll have to triple check that they're all fine. Anyway, then there's this one. Uh, this one is also, I guess, for like a kind of small family. Um, but they have like two teens bedrooms upstairs. Oh my god, it's so laggy. <laughs> this is horrible. <sighs> anyway, it's kind of got this like blue and then like dusty pink color going on. Um, they have a little hallway upstairs. I liked the two teens rooms. One of them is kind of sporty. It's not counting the bay window in the room. Oh, is it not? I'll have to do that last. I'm just gonna come back and do it last. There's only so much a person can do. We gotta get these assigned somehow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is it so bad? We're almost there. The foundation didn't do anything wacky, I can see it. Last Yesterday we had a weird problem with the foundation doing some weird things, but we aren't having that problem today. Thankfully. Unit number three, very slow. Just hiding the ones that are done make it less laggy? It might, but I'm scared of hiding them because I don't want to upload it to the gallery hidden by accident. Um, anyway, upstairs in this unit, there's like a an art studio space in the loft and then the primary bedroom is up here as well so we have that one too oh my god this is so laggy <laughs> can you match the unit colors yeah you can change the unit colors whatever you want so you could totally do that i i personally at this moment do not feel inclined to to match any unit colors to anything um mostly because i want to get out of build mode <laughs> But you can change the color to, to be a- there's a, a very wide variety of colors to pick from that you can change it to, so. Um, right now, the idea is to just get it to work. Which is almost maybe too much to ask. That one's counting. It's just this one that's not counting as part of it. So that's number three, separate. The lag really does hurt, huh? <laughs> um, yeah, if I were you, build it and then assign last is kind of the, um, the tip that I would give. That's quite weird. Whatever, I don't care. Um, this is number four. Build and then assign last. They did, they, they fixed it as in it's a lot better now. It used to be significantly worse. You could barely even move around in build mode. The like assigning part is laggy, um, but before this, you could literally barely move around in build mode before they did the update. You get in the basement through these stairs over here. Um, there's an outside staircase to access the basement down there. We'll go there next. I just gotta assign all these first. So you did that, but then couldn't assign anything when you were done. Was it was it just being kind of glitchy? Because sometimes you have to like go in and out of build mode and stuff for it to let you assign stuff properly. Um, why is it lagging so much? Uh, cause the the rental units are. This is wait, I'm assigning it wrong. This is supposed to be number four. Oh no, number four is supposed to be empty. We made it empty on purpose in number four because I wanted uh, you all to have a place to build if you wanted to. I numbered them wrong. I'm so mad at myself for that. And I didn't notice until the third floor. Mm. Oh, that's fine. That one was right. Okay. Number four. Um, everything was number one and you couldn't change it. Yeah, I've had that bug too. Sometimes you just gotta like uh, do it a couple times in and out of build mode. Is the bay window fine? I don't know, I'll check. Yeah, okay, so that's number four in the empty unit. And then in the basement, this one's number five. 
We're almost there. Oh, we could put the rent sign in front of number four. That's kind of cool. I like that idea because it's empty. We can put that up. Okay, that's a good call. Number five. Number five. Okay, that's all of that one. Then this one's number six. Okay. I did the downstairs bathroom for number four, yeah. It should be all fine. And we fixed the numbering being messed up, so. It seems like everything should be okay now. And we assigned all of the storage units already. So I think we're okay. Anyway, so down here, there's like two apartments as well. And you access them through this outside staircase. And that is the fully finished set of apartments. <laughs> Let me put the, the for rent sign in front of this one. Where should I put it? I don't want to put it anywhere that's like disruptive to the walkway. Maybe on this edge, on this corner. That could be cool. Okay. Okay. Let's save and then we'll put it on the gallery furnished. Make sure you save before you attempt to upload. <laughs> Beth, JC, Captain, Rachel, thank you for the subs. Okay, and while we're doing this, um, so I will be here tomorrow on New Year's Eve. I'm actually gonna be going live at this time tomorrow. Um, so eight o'clock my time, eight o'clock Eastern time. It's currently 7.51. Um, I'll be here this time tomorrow and we're gonna stream until midnight um, and like wait for the, the year to change <laughs> is kind of the idea. So um, that is the plan for tomorrow. We will be here. If you wanna hang out with us, you are obviously welcome. I know it's kind of late for most of you or a lot of you, so. Although if it's late for you, you're probably not here right now. So maybe not. Um, so <laughs> what did I call it on the gallery before? Oh no, hold on. Um, uh oh. Ooh. I can't open the gallery. Oh my God. But anyway, I'll be here at this time and we'll play for a while. Sand my Shuno brownstones is what I called it before. So we'll call it that again. Can I wait? I have to go back. I'm gonna try and copy paste the description too. I forgot what I said, so I'm gonna try and... Um, okay. But will we play? Mostly Sims is the idea. Um, and then we'll watch a countdown and stuff. Um, oh God, it's there. Four townhouses and two basement apartments. Each has their own storage unit in the basement and there is a shared laundry and gym downstairs. Um, this version is furnished. There is another unfurnished one on my gallery. Um, okay. Delete the unfurnished hashtag. Yeah? I'll call it six. Ready? $458,000. <laughs> ah, also, Sophia, thank you for the 15 months. Thank you so much. Wow. No, I didn't change the name. Oh my God. We have to take it down and do it again. I didn't change the name. <laughs> okay. Sand my shoe now. Brownstones. <laughs> there you go. Overwrite. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. It's fine. Now it's up. <laughs> it's done. I don't usually include the bathrooms in that. People always ask, because I, I do that on these, um, the townhouses and stuff, I only marked it as six bedrooms. What I mean by that is that it's six units. Um, I'm not gonna mark the bathrooms because in total it's like a million bathrooms. It, you wouldn't be able to say it. I don't think it matters how many bathrooms are on the entire lot. And there's more than six bedrooms total. I, I just put the sixes because there's six units was kind of my idea. It does say unit count right here, but I just added there. That's kind of what I've been doing. Um, anyway, did that overwrite the unfurnished version? Oh, I hope not. No. 
Oh, um, maybe. Is it on the gallery still? I can't tell. It looks like maybe it's not there anymore. I'm scared of uploading it again. Should I? I can. Did it say it was 1967? Oops, I uploaded it. Well, it's happening. Maybe it's there twice, who knows? <laughs> who knows? Um, and it's it's all set up, it's all there. We, everybody has options now. Um, and I think on that note, I'll probably end the stream here. I was live for a whole hour longer than I was supposed to. Now, who knows when I'm gonna be able to... <laughs> I gotta finish the highlight reel. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's okay. Oops, sorry, open my own stream. No one wants to listen to me talk twice. Um, let's go find someone who is also live, maybe playing The Sims, and we can go raid them, yeah? Um, this is like our last normal stream of the year, so Happy New Year, everybody. Um, I will be here tomorrow, but it's different. <laughs> so, um, kind of fun stuff. Um, maybe we can- oh, you know what'll be fun? My friend Bruin, um, is live right now, working on the Decades Challenge. And I want to go say hi. So let's go raid Brew. Let's go raid Brew, um, and we'll say hello, and and we'll hang out over there for a little bit. And then I will be here tomorrow. Have a wonderful rest of your day, everybody, or night, or whatever. Um, and I'll catch you all later. Happy almost New Year. <laughs> go say hi to Brew for me. Um, Con, thank you for the seven month resub, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Okay. Goodbye.